mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am, I can't eat shit out of my fucking ass. Fucking based. Ain't no eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Oh, he's doing the meme. Oh, this is cringe. Eat it. Eat it. I am fucking based. Fucking eat it. Shut the fuck up. Farms. I want to mail you a spoon on a daily fucking basis. Fills a racist, fills a sexist, fills this, fills that. I am who I am. I am fucking, fucking based. based. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it. <laughs> fucking eat it. <laughs> oh, he's doing the meme. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, well, eat it. my content that I watch. You think I care about this shit? Ask me if I care about this I shit. I have no sympathy. Because I don't give a shit. If I had a dollar for every time they said I gave a shit, I'd be broke because I don't give a shit. I'm not loyal to anybody. I'm a demon. I have no loyalty for anyone. Never did, never will. Straight gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Popped a perk 30, got straight to fucking. Ball alert. Popped a old garbanzo bean. Fuck you, mean. Oh! I'm sick in the head. Y'all can't fuck with me. This shit ain't nothing to me, you stupid, stupid piece of shit. What's slogan filtered crack, you stupid piece of shit? Shorty chose to be with a demon, sounds like her problem to me. She spread it, and let me take a deep sniff of that slime. That coochie yummy slime. That coochie doing it for me slime. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I go blind. Please. I'll have to stun on them next time. Give me take some, brother. Cutting straight to the bricks. <laughs> Popped a perk 30, got straight to fucking. Popped a old garbanzo bean. Fuck you mean. I'm <laughs> sick in the head y'all can't fuck with me you can't trust me i don't even trust myself I, I don't know who i am anymore i'm getting too much money can you remind me who i am get the president on the phone now ain't no i'm him i've been him i will continue to be him fuck all you hey 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 hey, hey. detroit till i die motherfucker Hey, welcome to the stream. I just gave out my five monthly free memberships, dude, uh, that YouTube provides for me. And uh, at, at the end of the stream, I'm going to give out my other five. So just in case I don't forget about it. So welcome, everybody. This is uh, Swaycast number 10. We made it to 10, dude. I just started doing streams like 10 episodes ago is what I want you to believe. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a scammer. Uh, so anyways... What we're going to do is uh, we're going to wait for the guy. He hasn't even started his stream yet. But as you can see, there's 20 more minutes, man. So I guess we'll have to wait 20 more minutes. But do we have to wait 20 more minutes for the music to be on? Hold on. Yeah, he's, he still hasn't started it. Well, I guess we have to watch A Stress-Free Month's End. Baldur's Gate Returns. Infinite Wealth Delivers. The Daily Wrap. January 20, the 31st, 2024. Well, let's see this. Uh, what what do the comments say? Nothing much. And uh, people want to see him play the Silent Hill game that is only like an hour and a half. Apparently, it's not good, but uh, it's it's new. Why not play it? I don't know. So, anyways, 
Uh, let's dive into it. Then uh, Bernelski is going to turn on his podcast. As you can see in his chat, he has already awakened. He has rolled out of his bed and it's just a matter of hours until he turns on the stream that we're all here for. And today, as you guys know, is the 2nd of February, which means that it's a thing called Groundhog's Day, uh, which um, is a tradition where... Actually, let somebody else explain Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. And this has a special meaning for Phil, because for Phil, watching his streams is basically Groundhog Day every day. As you can see here, this little... Uh, how do you even call it? A groundhog? Yeah, it's in the name. This little groundhog, Mr. Phil. Punxsutawney Phil. Punk, Punxsutawney, that dude. Uh, he predicted early spring, dude. So I guess it's going to be a lot of cheerful positivity and fun. Uh, so this kind of thing, I guess uh, this little dude, he comes out of his uh, little hole. His name is Phil, which adds even more uh, entertaining factor to this. So uh, he comes out of his little hole. If he can see his shadow, then I guess it means that the spring is going to come early. I don't know. Whatever. He's just a little rat. But he's very cute. Just like this little rat here. But this one can talk. So let's see what he has to tell us on this daily rap. Good evening, everyone. Phil here. And it's this. Wow. This is. This is the daily rap for what was Wednesday, the 31st of January, 2024. A nice chill streaming day thankfully thank goodness we needed one it was well ne uh, you know desired <clears throat> and we got one not to say that i didn't enjoy all the streaming i did this week but definitely with some of the stuff that was going down uh with me learning a brand new fighting game oh i thought he was going to talk about the stress a stressful one in a lot of ways yes i'm kind of happy the month is over um only because now you kind of hit the reset button moving forward um, before we even begin with the recap of the day, the first thing that I did today on my podcast was apologize to everyone <laughs> for being so stressed out. Because yeah, that was a great segment, man. He, he right into it. He started the podcast right into apologizing. And then in the middle of apologizing, he was banning some idiots in chat. So it kind of negated the apology because he was still toxic. But the rest of the day was really positive, guys. Uh, right? I, I guess. Uh, even though I think he made like a hundred bucks on one stream and fifty on the other one, that's that's just still too much for for this kind of work, man. Word is the groundhog got his spoon, so there will be six more weeks of toxicity. Lick my scrotum. Yeah, there we go. Six six more weeks of toxicity. <laughs> At least we're gonna be eating good with the the spoon. Basically, it's not just what you guys see. Uh... Oh yeah, for this um for this remix. For the, the tropical style dance remix of the eating eating song, I wanted to have a feature on it and I started writing some stuff. And it was like the most disgusting shit that I've ever written down. And I'm like, you know what? Some people might not get the joke. So I'm not even going to take this risk this time. I'm not going to take the risk. But some of the lyrics, um, and I'm going to read them instead of singing them so it sounds more cringe. Uh, I'm going to eat it. Doo doo out my ass is undefeated. Nutritious and delicious. Yeah, you know I need it. Pass the spoon. Crazy on that ass like a typhoon. And then uh, a bunch of other stuff that I'm not even going to get into that. You know, up front on my streams, there's a lot of other stuff that also goes on in my real life behind the scenes that you guys are not aware of purposefully. You don't need to know every single aspect of, uh, aspect of my life. But, okay, this is the thing. We don't need to know it, but we get to hear about it. So... Why don't we just stop hearing about it and then we're not going to know that it even exists and it's none of our business because that makes sense. Because this dude is like, he's telling us about a bunch of things that are happening to him, but not exactly what. So it, it's like he's trying to have his cake and eat it too. It's not fair to the viewer. You need to know everything that's going on with me. You know, I've had ongoing things going on for about a year to year and a half now that have affected me, you know, stress wise behind the scenes and... You know, for me, the things that are the most annoying in life are the things you can't fix or really help. They just are, and you have to deal with them. And that's kind of the stuff that I'm going through right now. You know about the fake memberships that have been constantly been gifted um, <clears throat> on all three of my channels that essentially... They're not fake, but never mind. The value of a membership. I'm, I'm over this whole membership thing. I guess they're fake now. Fuck it. Fuck it. They're fake. They don't exist. 
uh, except they uh, do and, and really hurt the business but on top of that you know many other things going on so today my goal was to have a non-stressful day a chill podcast where I didn't have any real agendas to cover or anything to really discuss, but instead just do some open Q&A and relax and then get into, uh, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 and, of course, Like a Dragon at night. <clears throat> so, Baldur's Gate 3 today went smoothly, went well. Uh, basically oh, no, I'm not listening to him talking about this. Can we listen to him talk about support? Is there, is there a discussion about support? Let's actually look up the AI timestamps. So here we got first stream, good, good, good. Notes, positive audience support during the stream. Thank you, Chad GPT. Then we have Sony State of Play. He received an announcement during the stream, including a free Silent Hill game with a comparison to PT. Fantastic. And then we go, expresses an uncertainty about playing the Silent Hill game, wanting viewer input and considering a daytime stream on Saturday. Um, yeah, he should definitely play it. Why not? Even if it's bad, he's going to get to shit on it with the rest of the people that are doing it. And he's going to get to play a brand new game that is like an hour and a half long. He gets to be done with it almost immediately and just move on. So, like, why wouldn't you want to do it? Then what do we got? Future streams and schedules. And uh, considering private Patreon videos, yada, 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 bullshit. And then the conclusions is thanks for a great January and apologize for recent stress-related content. I want to hear him say it. Playthroughs that put me on the map as a content creator over a decade oh, ago. No, not Have this. You must merge the character of Kool-Aid Girl. Oh, I guess I should, uh, I should show you guys this in case you didn't listen to the podcast yesterday. So I was banned, uh, not banned, I was blocked by the love of my life, the Kool-Aid Girl herself, um, the brazy one. And this is what I did. I basically did nothing wrong, to be honest. And I, I guess you guys are gonna, you guys are, are gonna decide. But I was just stating facts, correct? Argentina memberships are realer and more meaningful than his marriage to his mommy made. You know what? They, I mean, they get the job done. They are as real as the, all the other ones. So, I, what can you say about them? It's crazy. So, uh, Miss Jenna, as you can see here, it says you're blocked. You cannot follow or see the posts, which is terrible. And then uh, I'm going to add some context. So first, he, she says, I've never tried sushi and never will. And then that gets me thinking like sushi. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you try it? It's, it's not nasty. It's not gross. It's pretty good. So what I say is, I'm sure you've had nastier things in your mouth than raw fish. And that got me blocked. I don't even know why. I was just stating facts. There are probably nastier things in anybody's mouth than raw fish. You probably fucking... I don't know. I don't think it's fair. But life is unfair. Sometimes you gotta deal with rejection. So I gotta move on to simp to another girl. That is totally out of my league. The original playthrough. Commenting on that could be comedy gold too. Mamo got a puppy. So she's done with men again. Too bad the puppy? dog lives in a van. Cat may be a gigantic orca humpback whale, but at least she lives in a home. No, that's... Uh, uh, hold on. Is it is it a puppy? I thought she got a boyfriend. Is that what she was talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up with the lore. All I know is that she liked the song that I made. So... And then she blocked me. So that kind of negates the, the liking of the song. It's, uh, it's very complicated. We have a very complex relationship. As in, she doesn't even know that I exist. Kind of. Oh. But I, I am her boyfriend, kinda. I told you, it's very complicated. We have some options, but I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. Let's see what happens because tomorrow my patron pledges should go through. I should reach out to the patrons and I should be able to hear back from them soon on if they want videos. And if I have more than than just Slayer. Oh wow, look at this music. This this song actually is pretty catchy. This one, uh, I say yeah, and I say yeah. It's it's not a terrible song. I mean, it is, but compared to all the other ones, it's not as terrible. There you go. Look at the tight beat. It sounds like a 3-6 Mafia, dude. Xbox 360 Mafia. There's videos that I probably will need Sunday night and I won't be able to stream Sunday night. But if it's just Slayer, then maybe we could do this late night retro react stream on DSP throwback and enjoy some of the classic stuff that I've ever done. I think that would be a really nice late oh, night. Oh yeah, those Sunday. streams, they're well, so hyped, dude. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, so guys, thank you for a great January. Sorry for the stress. I really, really am. Sincerely, you're coming to my stream. There we go. This is an apology. There we go. We have an apology officially. To unwind, to unplug from the stress of your lives and to have a good time. You don't want to hear constantly about my problems and all the shit that's going. I'm going through, and I apologize for that. That this last week, particularly, there was a lot of dumping because of the stress I was going through. It was too much, and I, you know I got to do better. But I know I make the same mistakes every once in a while. I, I try to do better. I swear, and I hope that I will improve. And I'm sorry if this week you found me annoying in any way. Hopefully things will get better in February. Okay. But thank you so much. Okay. Have a safe Friday, uh, Thursday. I'll see you all Friday morning, and we'll get caught up. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then we got the, the final shot of him uh, turning off the video. That's very charming. But we did have an apology, an official apology, a quote-unquote sincere apology. So I appreciate it. I hold no grudge towards Phil. I understand he's stressed out because the uh, people from Argentina has been harassing him big style. And it's been tough, man. It's been tough. So what do we have here? Why is this recommended for me? Even though it's, it's not a bad recommendation, it's a huge exploit. The truth behind recent member bombs revealed. Yeah, this one you saw the, the trolls on Twitter actually pointing out the obvious. That you got regional pricing on stuff. Very interesting. So here, I've watched all these streams with CAD. But what I wanted to do is watch the original ones. Like 2018. Even though I'll have about like, what, 15 minutes? Maybe? Unless he runs music for, for 20 minutes again. Or 30 minutes, God forbid. Uh, so, I don't know. What is a shorter style thing? I don't think he was toxic the other day. I don't think there's really much to, to watch. Uh, Smokey MCC made a video about him. This dude is a prominent member of the LOL Cow commentary community. Uh, I haven't watched this video, but I guess it's, it's, it's good. Um, then, what do we got here? Oh, we got clips. Hold on. So this is a, a, I haven't seen this before. This is a clip of It's a Gundam on TBS, but it's uploaded on It's a Gundam Clips channel. You see, we're, we're going worldwide, dude. We're going global. We're making it a, a corporation. We're becoming huge. But I was looking for something that I saw today and I wanted to watch on stream. But what the fuck was that? Why didn't I bookmark it like a regular style human? Uh, oh, we got the... Oh, yeah, Mr. Stuff has been uploading a lot of quality stuff. I think one of his videos is something that I wanted to watch. Uh, we have... Oh, hold on. We have Trash Woes and a Hoarding Cat Litter. This is interesting. Now, in addition, I've had to actually make... Uh, I've had to actually make a... Uh, a trip to the dump yesterday. So I this is on the 24th of February, 2021. We've had to make one for months. You know, we have a pet, Jasper, and, you know, he's got kitty litter that adds up, plus, you know, other things. And we basically have a bunch of shit around the house that that's, we're trying to get rid of. We're cleaning out the house. We did, Actually, we did a, a thorough amount of house cleaning over the holidays into January. And we had all this stuff kind of saved up, and we're like, we're ready. we got to make a dump run. And we just haven't a had a dump run. Really. Whether it was the colder weather, snow and stuff, but we just didn't have a chance to really <laughs> A lot of this stuff, when he's talking about having to do a dump run, having to do a supply run, it sounds like they're living in like a, a post-apocalyptic society where you can't go out of your house because they're like a viral disease or zombies or something. It's like, dude, all you got to do is you can even do that on a regular day when you're streaming. Do it. And now we're like, damn, we got all kinds of shit that we got to throw out. Um... And so finally, we, we basically yesterday sat down for about half an hour and bagged all this shit up, loaded up the car, and then I went to the dump, and oh my god, that was a lot of shit. Like, the whole car was full. So so, I've so here you can see, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half containers for trash. Imagine if, if, if they managed to fill up all of, all of those, they have maggots 100%. A hundred percent. Because, man, if it if two people can fill up all those containers with garbage, in some of those containers definitely have their own ecosystem at this point. A lot of times just talking it's shit. Absolutely yeah. disgusting. It was annoying because, number one, because of COVID, even the garbage dump basically makes it so that you can't even, like, you can't even have your car parked next to someone else at the dump. They spaced it out 
So you have to wait. It really, really, it used to be like 10 to 12 people could be there at once. Now it's like five people, including if like a garbage truck from picking up in your neighborhood or around the area is dumping. So every oh, that was a nice out, snort. A and so I'm waiting, and there's a ton of people around who are who are dumping stuff right now. You know, and these aren't people like me filling up a little a little compact car with bags of trash. These are people with giant pickup trucks, huge giant rental like U-Hauls. Oh yeah, it's uh, stuff. It's, it's the mafia getting rid of dead bodies, a hundred percent. Takes them like half an hour to an hour to unload their stuff. So I'm just sitting here, in my little compact car, waiting, 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 waiting. I'm like, oh my god, how long is this gonna take? This is something that should take like five minutes. And but by the way, before COVID, it did take five minutes. I've been to the dump before, before COVID happened. And this is something you get in there, dump, you're gone. Beyond with your day. Now it's like an endeavor. Like, Jesus, I gotta sit here and wait <laughs> it's an like endeavor. Half an hour, 45 minutes. Everything, I mean, everything is an endeavor if all you do is just sit at home in your pajama pants. I mean, that's just how it is. So I'm not surprised he thinks it takes so much effort. Pull into a spot, you know, and then I gotta try to hurry up. In the middle of me unloading my car of this this trash, oh, we, we've run out of space. We need to, to change the... Uh, the container that you're dumping into and that took 15 minutes <laughs> a truck had to come pick up the container drive it away and then a new truck drove in with an empty container and that was a 15 minute wait so it's like okay this should have been like five minutes and it was like an hour and a half so two quick shout outs one from timbo slice cheering ask oh my god timbo earlier. slice i'm not gonna sit here and mr double style bankruptcy or or is was it triple i'm not exactly sure uh, but it's double for sure. Elaborate on it too long, but uh, I guess he's asking, he's saying, what happened with, with Jasper's uh, litter box stuff that I said I took to the dump? Oh, it's a triple? God damn it. Uh, God during damn the winter it. months, when Jasper has his litter box changed, we actually have one trash can that we store all that in and we just keep it in there for a while. Where did he go anyways? Did he make a big post about leaving Phil and no longer being... Uh best friends or something what happened to him oh and then we save it up and we take it to the dump reason being is he here under a sock trash removal here we have one medium size not even large but medium sized can of trash that they remove t every two weeks two weeks i want you to think about that two weeks to save up one can of trash for uh, you know for for us that's not a lot just between the stuff that we do cleaning around the house uh you know Food waste. Well, I won't say food waste because we try to put that down the the food. What do you call it? The disposal. Um, the food disposal as much <laughs> as we possibly can. <laughs> Imagine cat feces building up for months in your garage. That garage had to smell worse than sweaty cat after walking the Spanish steps while eating zoostroming. Bro, buzz. Bro, that 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 garage is like. Uh... Oh my god, if you go in there without like a hazmat suit, you're gonna catch a disease that's not previously been experienced by anybody. It's it's fucking wild. So this dude, uh, what he just said is, we try and get rid of the food as much as possible. So I just imagine them shoving like an entire turkey down the garbage disposal. This and that's why it broke, eventually it broke. We do cleaning around the house. Because they use it as a, as a backup trash can, basically. Uh, you know food well i don't want to say food waste because we try to put that down the the food what do you call it um the food disposal as much as we possibly can all right but yeah there's basically a lot of issues with trash removal here it sucks we i wish we could have i'm not trash i'm not removal. as convinced we don't i don't know i think it's perfectly manageable we have every other week so imagine trying to save up your trash for two weeks and you have to fit it in one trash can or else you got to go to the dump. So likely, you know, what we try to do only in the winter, we save up the litter and then we take it to the dump when we can. If it's the summer, you can't. In the summer, that shit stinks too bad. So we end up, you know, oh God. being able to save it up. <laughs> they, I mean, they're actually like saving up cat shit. Like, what the fuck, dude? First of all, why would you do it Second of all, why would you admit to doing it on the internet when you know that everybody is on your ass about everything and you're just admitting, yeah, I, st I, I stockpile some cat shit in my garage, but not in the summer, though, because it gets too stinky. Just in the winter. Come on, dude. If it was every two weeks and it was like, oh, you could take multiple cans and shit. It's not. It's every two weeks, one normal-sized trash can. I'm serious. 
They expect us to only have one fucking trash can every two weeks because this is Washington, the green state. God forbid you actually actually throw something the fuck out. So that's why I end up going to the dump uh, every few months usually. I save up a bunch of shit. And Look, I don't know how stuff works there, but I, I, I just don't trust them for some reason. I feel like there's much more convenient ways to do it. On today's show, it's the beginning of a brand new streaming. Hell yeah! We've got a lot to talk Hell about. Hell yeah, brother! We had a Sony event the other day that talked about a lot of new games and possibly... Oh, we're gonna actually have uh, news for once. ...for streams this week. Uh, in addition, this week we've got the return of the Retro React event over on DSP Throwback. Plus, of course, continuing on with all the awesome games that we're currently playing and juggling. And I want to talk about my day off yesterday. So, all this and more... Coming up on today's Level 1 Podcast. Yeah, epic. Let's finish this one. Say, okay, what can we save to go to the dump that doesn't absolutely go out, have to go out, like, right now? Like, for example, you know, trash that has from food, dinner, and stuff, that has to go out. That stuff stinks. You know, you can't leave that in your garage forever. Don't pray for rock. They do not do bulk, bulk pickup at all. You have to take your shit to the dump yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. That sounds like gated community problems to me. That sounds like you put yourself in this position, didn't think twice about it. So, too All bad. Alrighty, everyone. So, welcome back, and welcome to a brand new streaming. Yeah, let's get it started today. on Groundhog Day, the Friday, most ironic day of the of year. So, let's have another podcast so. that's exactly Happy like all the other ones, month, except maybe he's going to be toxic in a slightly different month, way. Uh, as it was my day off, and got a little bit to talk about today in regards to that. Uh, I hope that you're all safe and having a good time and ready for a fun weekend. Uh... We got a good amount of stuff going on right now. You know, the return of Baldur's Gate 3 after not playing it for a week, continuing on with the new releases Tekken 8 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, throwing in a little bit of Pal World here and there for relaxing fun, and of course, reacting. And this weekend, we're going to have an entire day of React content this Sunday, which I'm going to explain today as well. So, a lot of good stuff to talk about, but... We may have a monkey wrench thrown into this week's schedule, and oh, really, it's no. up to you. Oh, that's the the Silent Hill game. So, I definitely okay. like to get I get back it. today on this. All right. So here's the deal. Sony did a state of play broadcast while I was playing Baldur's Gate three back on Wednesday, and they talked about a lot of different games. Some of which I'm very interested in, and some of which I'm not really interested in at all. Um. But amidst all of these announcements, I'm sure some of you will be asking me about them today. Uh, and, you know, we'll talk about them together. Um, but out of all of the announcements, I think the one that kind of shocked everyone and no one saw coming was that a game was released for free immediately during the broadcast. Huh? Right, what? Right. They pulled, essentially, a PR move similar to to what happened many, many years ago. If you remember, when Hideo Kojima was developing a horror game, uh, he just, it was called Silent Hills, and it was supposed to be his take on the Silent Hill franchise. Um, and they released this thing called PT, Playable Teaser, that was supposed to be like a preview. Like, here's what it will be like, or at least a taste of what the game would be like. And it was creepy, it was scary, it was free. And it was uh, it was interesting because, in reality, even though it kind of you could consider it like a full fledged game, it really wasn't. It was really just like a small narrative based horror adventure where you pick out clues and you're stuck. Well, I guess now it is a full full fledged game because nothing else came out of it because they cucked uh, Kojima San. It was very confusing. People didn't actually really figure out everything about it for a few days to figure out the true ending of it or whatever. And over the years, people even data mined it and as they data mined it they actually found out all this stuff like for example there's constantly a ghost chasing you in pt you just never fully see it so you had no idea that there was a ghost behind you down the hallway but as they data mined it they looked at the data there was a ghost back there it was creepy looking and everything and maybe the intention was eventually it was going to jump out and scare you but it never does um Ooh, anyway nice it snort. became a thing of legend because what happened was hideo kojima's silent hills got canceled he stopped working for Nam or excuse me, I almost said Namco for uh, Konami. Konami. And when he stopped working for Konami, you know that was the end of that. Uh, and so PT was pulled. Well, he kind of stopped working for them the same way that DSP stopped working for the helicopter company. Well, not in the same way because Konami actually treated Kojima like a bitch. From and digital marketplace, they fired his ass. Get it anymore? Uh, it was just like if you had a console that had it on it, great. 
But outside of that, there was no way to really play PT. Now, of course, over the years, people found other ways to get access to it and stuff like that, right? Um, anyway. And then, so the they, bring... then they tarnished the legacy of uh, Metal Gear Solid by making that shitty-ass survival game that everybody fucking hated. It was terrible. This up is because this year, Those assholes. This year we've got a remake of... And don't get me started about the whole uh, Pro Evolution soccer game. God damn it, they ruined that shit too. Silent Hill 2 officially coming out from Bluebird Team. And this game has been, you know, hyped for years. And some people are on the fence about it because they don't know if they trust Bluebird Team with it. Um, but then it was announced on Wednesday during this State of Play event, hey, so we're going to release a free game right now. And I think it's called The Short Message. Silent Hill, The Short Message. And people are like, huh? So the thing is, we had heard about this game previously. Um, it had actually been uh, leaked a little bit and teased. People had already seen like pictures of it where there's like this dialogue written on walls and like graffiti and it's all insults. Whoa, it's like DSP's oh, life. Like oh, dude, yeah, this is gonna be the, the super relatable game he's playing next. Cause that game is about cyber bullying, apparently. A character may have some kind of like mental illness and just like Phil hearing things dude about, you know bad things it's about literally about him fur 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 story of someone being bullied um and driving them into madness like it's not sure but we had already seen promotional materials for this we're not really promotional materials but like art from this game leaked last year and people thought oh this is going to be like a full-fledged Silent Hill game well no <laughs> which makes it be a little bit confusing why even have this exist does this tie in directly to Silent Hill 2? Doesn't appear to. Okay? So... This dude is like... I don't get this logic of like, Ooh, why Why does this game even exist? So you can play it. Why Why would it... Why does any game exist? Why does this podcast exist? When I can get the same information from the previous one. What is this game? Well, apparently... Why does anything exist? Person, horror survival game. Where you're wa walking around looking for clues and pieces of narrative. You're solving some puzzles. And yes, you're chased by a creature that could kill you. Uh, so when I hear that, I think, oh, so it's like Amnesia, right? Or, oh, it's like Resident Evil 7, the earlier part of the game when you can't really fight back and you're in the house and you're being chased by the crazy... Or it's like PT? Right, that's what it kind of... You know, like the previous like one that was like this? Um, but it's just weird because no one can explain why it exists. Like, it doesn't seem to so serve any purpose. Is it a way to hype up Silent Hill 2? Not really. It's it's nothing to do with Silent Hill 2. It doesn't look like Silent Hill 2. It's not it doesn't play like Silent Hill 2. Um at least with playable teaser, the idea was that it was supposed to be like a lead in into Silent Hills. Like that was supposed sure. to get you Good excited point. for what Hideo Kojima could do for horror and give you a preview of what the game was gonna be like. This doesn't seem to be that. It just seems to be like existing for no real reason it's bizarre because oh my god they're not selling it right it's not a pre-order bonus it doesn't tie you into anything that's monetary so you know it's kind of weird and a lot of people are actually speculating that just perhaps this was actually being developed as a new silent hill game but at some point during development it was decided that it basically isn't really going to uh it wasn't really going to make money, right? Okay. This game, you know, would have sold a little bit. But, you know, if you compare it, like, I look at that game and I'm like, well, if it really does play like... like I, I just don't know why this is a, a, a topic that we got to be harping on. They released a free game. that Like, how, how are you going to be mad or just act like this about a free game? If you don't care about it, don't play it, but it's a free game. Amnesia, right? Look at the last few amnesias. Because this dude is trying to pretend like he's some kind of an industry insider and discuss it. And it's like, oh, what are the what are the, the business repercussions of this game? Hmm, very interesting. Some of them have done really well. Some have not. You know, it's kind of a mix. Amnesia yeah, so it, basically, you, you are correct, Demise. He read somebody on Twitter that had this opinion and was like, well, why does this game even exist? And then Phil read the reply to somebody and this is his opinion. Mixed reception kind of It's thing. just that kind of a segment. Oh, the last one. I was wrong about the lady's sweater. He's banished it to the closet. Rick. Most probably, also, yeah. Only Phil would move to the greenest state in the country on purpose and then complain about how green they are. Yeah, but all, all he cared about is the taxes. That's all he cared about. Alert. And Silent then Hill. not everything the else. Snort message. The snort message, there we go. The snort message. 
And this is a this is definitely the snort mess. Did really good. The bunker apparently that one actually sold really well and it was reviewed. He's unlike any human I've ever seen. He literally can't understand anything that he doesn't directly connect to, care about, and any right. time that happens, his natural reaction is fear and anger. Yeah, or or being suspicious and paranoid about it. It's like, oh, why why is this game? Why does this game exist? Oh, I wonder if it's some kind of a scam. Very well, and I played it, and I actually really liked it. Um. So it's a little weird to me. I'm like, why didn't they make the whole game? It's just, I, it, it's hard to put your finger on what happened and why this exists. Anyway, so shockingly, it's announced during my Baldur's Gate 3 stream. I don't think it was too Wednesday, shocking. That this is now out. You could just go download it. I think it's PC and PlayStation. Is that true? It's on PC and PlayStation or is it just PlayStation? I'm not sure. Oh, but this is the news guy, by the way. Right now. Like, whoa. So immediately as I'm playing Baldur's Gate, people come to the stream. Will you play? Are you going to play? Are you going to play? I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know what you're talking about yet. Everyone take a few steps back here. Let's relax here and try to figure this out. Yeah, I don't want to change the whole schedule around because some people were like, oh, just do it Wednesday night as a late stream. I'm like, I don't know how long it is. I don't know if it's something I want to play. I don't know if people are interested. I'm not going to disappoint people who've been waiting for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Like, that would be messed up, right? So here's where I left it. I would... Wait till Friday, talk to you guys about it, and we'll figure out, is this something that you guys really want? By Friday, we'll know way more about it, right? We'll know exactly what it is, how long it is, if it's worth the time, and then we'll figure it out, what we want to do, if we want to play it or not. Because here's the thing. Why don't we get to decide this right now? Why don't we just decide this right now? We're not deciding on buying a house or a car or having a baby. We're deciding to play a video game that is two hours long. Why can't we just do it now? Right now, my day streams. Because now he spent like five minutes talking about this game. That he could have spent just explaining what it is and deciding whether or not he's going to play it. Our alternation between Baldur's Gate 3, the React show coming up on Sunday. And now we just get the, the schedule of schizophrenia so again. I do a stream of this game. Oh, God. It's going to take away from that this week. Okay? And you might say, well, why don't you do a night stream of it? Well, there's a couple reasons. Reason number one is because most people are saying... It's about two hours long. This stream is so much like my life. FR, 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 FR. Well, I, I hope you're joking because this stream is uh, insufferable, way too long, and is uh, mostly uneventful. So I, I hope you can't relate to that in your life. Okay. I hope so, That's dude. That's great, except I'm an interactive streamer. I but it's also I meaningful. Guys, we have conversation about stuff. Very meaningful. Ah, yes. Wait multiple days until everyone else plays it, including the dents, so that Literally. nobody will have any interest in it anymore. Literally. A true businessman. Dude, he just should have just played it today on the night stream, have a hype one-off stream playing the game, finish it at once, and maybe even he could just release a review immediately after that. He could make like a 10-minute review of the game and just get like 5,000 extra views that he wouldn't have made otherwise. You know, there's just like the, the day one effect. Well, I'm sure I'll be but no, because it's dark side Phil. Taking my time. I guarantee you it's going to take me longer than two hours. Now, will it take me a full three hours? Probably not. But it's probably going to take me longer. If like the, the the average time people are taking to beat it is two hours, I'm probably going to end up taking longer than that, okay? So number one, there's no guarantee that I'd be able to fit it into a night stream, even if I did that. But number two, there's another huge... He might be scared of free games because of his history of getting addicted to and spending the all snats on free games. Well, well, sure, but I don't know if there's a slot machine in the in the Silent Hill game. I, I don't think so. Maybe there is, though. And that's why he's talking about spending more than two hours on it. Because maybe, what if there's a slot machine? We, we gotta experiment. We gotta play around. After here, but I don't think so. Right now, are actually massively in demand. But at the same time, it's Konami making the game. And Konami charged uh, you like $5 for a save file. For a save slot in that Metal Gear Survive game. So nothing shocks me at this point. Nothing shocks me. And then here's why. I need to get as far into like a dragon infinite wealth as i can in the next two weeks because i want to unlock the the dokkan island oh and now we're back to talking about this side of the game that plays kind of like animal crossing or disney dreamlight valley because my wife and i want to do co-op in that we want to do nights where we work on that island together and we do you know this simulation gameplay and we help each other design the buildings and and help each other figure out okay let's catch some bugs let's let's get some new tourists here and, and please them and stuff like that. And it's up for the sub, Doctor for that. We Stupid. Both like that style of gameplay. Uh, played Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah, why don't you just play Animal Crossing? I don't remember what it was called when we played. If you like Animal Crossing so um, much, 
And you know that both of them play Animal Crossing, they're familiar with the game, they both have a Nintendo Switch, why not just play the game? And they can legitimately play it in co-op and not like a fake co-op where one of them gets to play and the other one gets to talk. Just play Animal Crossing. It's going to be much better than whatever their plan for the Yakuza game. So we're dying to do it, but the problem is you need to get pretty far into Infinite Wealth to unlock it. You have to be in Chapter 6. And right now I'm only in Chapter 3, being around 11 hours into the game. So you figure, damn, I might have to play like another 10 hours to get to Chapter 6. Well, how am I going to get there if now we're taking away night streams? I need to play Infinite Wealth as much as possible between now and, say, two weeks. Because actually, one of the things that we're actually aiming for now, because we talked about it yesterday. Yeah, you could have been cool playing it be? right now. All right. How cool would this be if our first ever co-op gameplay stream is on Valentine's Day? Whoa, look at this. They're going to make it a special event. We're monetizing another holiday, everybody. Epic. This is the most DSP thing ever. He's going to monetize his wife and the holiday. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Big ups, uh, touch of the tism for the membership. That would be pretty neat. Epic we style. Valentine's night stream where we actually get to relax and play games together for the first time ever here on DSP Gaming. That would be pretty darn neat. But I have to unlock the mode first. I have to play the game enough to do it. Now, you guys have already said, oh, this game doesn't work as a daytime stream, and I've played it as a daytime stream, and I had a hard time getting an audience to come by and engage and support the stream, so that's why it's a night stream to begin with, you see? So, I'm kind of in a situation right now. I'm already juggling way too many games as it is, and I need to make progress in one of them as much as possible. I can't take away a night stream and get that set back, and you know what I mean? So, the way I see it... DSP new name is Rambling Randall, Mental Nuisance. Or maybe filibustering Phil. There you go. If people are interested... Oh, 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 oh. Hashtag monetize hate open mouth smile. Hashtag not, not monetize the haters, monetize the lovers that we're doing. That's what we're doing on this Valentine's Day. Hashtag monetize the lovers. In me, uh, yeah. playing this Silent Hill, the short message. It's gotta be tomorrow. And it's gotta be tomorrow's daytime stream. Because originally what the schedule was going to be is Baldur's Gate 3 today, Tekken 8 tomorrow, and I was going to try out a new character in Tekken 8 from the, from the ground up. Like, actually, like, look up strategies online the night before, and then go into training mode, learn for, like, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then go online for another two and a half hours. That was going to be tomorrow's stream. But if you watch Silent Hill, I'm totally okay. Yeah, with please Silent just Hill, do that. That's going to take Come away on. from everything else we're doing. Okay. So... That's the deal, and that means that... If he really wanted to play the game, he would start his stream, run like five minutes of music, then just immediate... Hold on. His internet is out? I guess his internet is out. Tekken would be... Oh, one no. Day. Somebody's this taking him Sunday down again. Show, which I do every Help! Time. Hold on. So this is five minutes. What's happening? Huh? Bill. That was weird. Oh, my God. That it's the like Comcast guy. Issue. That's the Comcast guy's music. He's back. He's returned from injury. I thought he was in jail. That was a YouTube side issue. Yeah, it was a I YouTube know, side issue. You? Except I didn't have it. Slash weird that Phil keeps calling this Yakuza Mi Bunny's Dokken, which is the name for another mobile Philba 2 has played before. Could Phil still be playing this game too? Oh, the... He yeah, he... I, I, I noticed he gets very confused about that with the, the Dokkan battle. What was that? The Dragon Ball Z game? Yeah. My chat maybe. is connected maybe he's getting very to confused. the same internet line as my PC and my chat kept going but for some odd reason my stream died for like 20 seconds and then came back big ups uh, hate army for like, 12 months dude shout outs like for hate the youtube page is saying anything's wrong it just loaded fully it just the con the stream connection died for like 20 seconds and came right back that was a youtube server issue okay so we should spend five minutes talking about it so anyway until it happens no worries, again that was a youtube server issue everyone relax I wasn't worried. Uh, like I said, if it was something, if someone was messing with my internet again, then everything would have went down. The chat would have went down. My, everything would have stopped loading, and everything was still loading. It was just the server went red and then green again. No, so, I don't think the chat would have went down because, well, when I get issues with my internet, the chat keeps spamming Fs, so the chat is not down. That was a YouTube server drop, and then it reconnected. And also, when the guy was pulling the plug on him and turning on the lag switch, uh, if you guys were there, you would know his chat was going crazy. Okay. Anyway, 
Anyway. Um, so. Schedule. Okay. So what was I saying? I was saying basically... Uh, right now online, there is a ton, a wealth of information about Tekken 8, and I'm super happy about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. They skipped like five minutes, and he's still talking about the same thing. This shit sucks. Tekken 8, where we learn a new character. Probably I'll talk about you guys, uh, I'll talk about it tonight with you guys on the late stream, and determine who it's going to be, and then I'll watch some videos tonight of the new character to learn the basics and good strategies, and tomorrow I try to learn them in training mode, and then we go online. Okay. Tomorrow night, like a dragon, infinite wealth. So okay. is this supposed Sunday, to be the schedule segment? Because I don't think he announced exciting. it. I'm reacting Because he usually announced it. Okay, now let's talk about YouTube the schedule. Okay, but first, it's going to be my weekly react show over on DSP React. <laughs> DSP versus the internet. It was great last week. We basically saved the channel, uh, and enough people are submitting. We saved the, the channel. Today, so I'm excited to do another one this coming weekend this Sunday. And then Sunday night, get this, Retro React on DSP Throwback. Yes, I'm bringing it back. We did it two weeks ago. It was the first one ever where I reacted to the original Red Dead 1 playthrough. You guys loved it and said, would you do this more? And I said, well, I can't do it all the time, but maybe every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, we'll see. Well, you guys have been demanding it. You're like, yeah, can you do that? It was Ooh, really they've fun. been we demanding it. Again. Um, Sounds good to me. And it looks like well, I'm going to do it Sunday night. And just so you guys know, we have a poll running right now to determine what it is that you guys want to see me react to this coming uh, Sunday. And here are your choices, because I want to read them out to you. All right? Okay. So, what are the choices? We got a heavy rain. We got probably some fighting a game. running on the channel main channel page of DSP Throwback, which is youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. Okay? Four options for you to vote on. What game do you want to see me react to? My classic playthrough of that is on Sunday night on DSP Throwback's live stream, second ever. First option, continue on with Red Dead Redemption 1. We're about no, don't do 90 that. minutes into it. No, we'll don't get further do that. In. The views option have fallen two, off so hard, it makes no sense. run of Dark Souls 1 from 2011. Okay, the that's not going to be too bad. No that's a miserable playthrough. The game was. I didn't study Very any miserable. Strategy guide. I just went in completely cold trying to play the game. I raged, I failed, I had a miserable time, and I eventually rage quit in Blighttown. Whoa, that would be a good one. he rage quit. Number three, my original Bloodborne run from 2015, where I played the game again, Cold Turkey. I didn't understand the difference. Oh, oh my God. And I kind of flubbed about playing it because I didn't know how to parry. <laughs> another, so I really had a rough time. With another my... incorrect instance of Cold Turkey. First play through it doesn't Blood. matter. Or Cold Turkey. One Cold of the, turkey. the classics. And when I say that, I mean, this undoubtedly is a, is a playthrough that a lot of people see as one of my legendary playthroughs. Oh, Heavy Rain, the original playthrough from 2010. The first major Quantic Dream game I ever played. This inspired me to then go and play other Quantic Dream games in the future. Um, a game that absolutely lent itself to my style of commentary at the time because it was allowing me to have fun and joke about uh -huh. a very serious, suspenseful storyline. And by the way tons to make fun of in that game so oh yeah he's there's nothing more fun than watching dsp make fun of himself legendary playthrough okay when you when you can assume that past phil would rip this phil a new asshole oh my god past phil would destroy this guy so basically what i would do in any like if if past phil could see what he became he would instantly get a job instantly situations it's like no way i'm turning into this fucking idiot this guy is blowing fucking bubbles. What is he, a fucking man-child? Watch back my original playthrough of those games live on the DSP Throwback channel, and we're gonna I'm going to commentate over it, and we're going to laugh together and enjoy this retro vibe, just like we did two weeks ago when I originally did this with the Red Dead 1 playthrough. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this poll has been running since Wednesday night. As of Friday morning, right now, 292 people have voted. It's not Epic. a ton. It's almost all, right. all the DSP but fans. here's the results. Almost. Red Dead 1 is 17% of the vote. Does this man not remember what happened with the last holiday stream with his mom wife? Yes, but now things are different. It fi it's five years later. They're both more mature. Cat has developed a thicker skin, quite literally. And she now doesn't care about the trolls. Just how she didn't care about them at first. So there you go. You got debunked. Dark Souls 1 is 37% of the vote. Okay. Bloodborne is 4% of the vote. And I'll be honest, I'm shocked more people don't want to see that. I thought that the Bloodborne playthrough was great. It was actually one of the most infamous, like, this is how you don't plays. So you think reacting to it was <laughs> funny. And then the last... <laughs> so he's judging... 
uh, how good his playthrough is by how famous that this is how you don't play is. That's that's a really good tell, Phil. Really good rain. tell. Currently at 41% of the vote. So actually, if you do the math, all right, if 300 people voted and there is a separation of 4%, okay, 1% is about three votes. So that means roughly, give or take, 10 people are controlling this poll right now. Now, this poll will continue to run all day today and all day tomorrow and determine what we're going to be doing on Sunday. So if you didn't see this poll yet, head over to DSP Throwback and vote on the poll. What do you want to see me react to on Sunday night? Now, there's another important, huge factor here. You must be subscribed to DSP Throwback to talk in the chat. All right? A lot of people, when I did my stream two weeks ago, forgot that fact that I do so <laughs> the streams to stop trolling and bots. And they weren't subscribed and they couldn't talk in the chat and they really missed out and they were upset. Oh, they missed Please out. Subscribe to DSP Throwback if you want to be there on Sunday <laughs> night and talk live in the chat. If you don't, you're going to miss out on the ability to be there and be a participant in that stream. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty miserable stream. I'm not even going to watch the, the fucking highlights. This shit is going to be trash. Okay. Because half of it, half of that stream is going to be him making disclaimers how YouTube isn't the same as it used to be. And every bad joke that he makes, like, oh, so you guys, you can see how stupid my jokes are, but that's it's just the past era. Again, youtube.com forward slash at DSP throwback. All of them. I'll see. It depends how much time I have. I would definitely like to try to get more of that set up for Sunday night stream. It's not a huge deal or anything. Uh, I can still manually do stuff. Bro, he's tweaking out today like he's drank like six coffees. And by the way, the throwback channel. There's just so much movement. In full swing. Every day you got a part of either Red Dead 1. Yeah, we don't care like about this. Sunday this. night page of DSP throwback. What we're going to be acting all day long. Likely more tech in 8. The schedule. Of, if we play Silent Hill, here's the different schedule. Today, still Baldur's Gate 3. Oh my, Retro, what? Or, excuse me. Baldur's Gate 3. What? We got an alternative schedule just because he might play one game differently. So we got to do the schedule all over again, but with a slight twist. Saturday. No way. Silent Hill, the short message, and Like a Dragon Infinite. This Will. dude loves Sunday schedules. Day, so that won't change. It'll still be uh, DSP versus the internet and Retro re uh, React. Monday. <laughs> Tekken 8 balanced with Like a Dragon Infinite Well. It's so stupid, man. We'll yeah, you just said this. You just said this. The, 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 the whole thing. And then each night one is powerful. Uh, he should be somebody's personal assistant, the way he loves scheduling so much. The one's Like a Dragon. It's crazy. So basically, if we do Silent Hill, Tekken only gets played twice this week. Are people okay with that? Are you okay with me playing the hot new fighting game only two sessions this week? Only playing. Uh one new character and only playing them once is that oh, acceptable to you because if not then we should just not play silent hill we should skip it again i'm not hearing tons about this silent hill game all right i'm not i'm hearing very little about it everyone talked about it on wednesday and then immediately it was like never so existed. so but i i thought you're not based off hype because it was a, if it was a super hype game then all the streamers would be playing it, and he wouldn't want to play it because it's the hype game that all the streamers are playing, and he would say that it's popular for the sake of being popular, whatever the fuck that means. Maybe we shouldn't do it. Or or maybe like- Why, why are you basing your opinion of, of the game on everybody else? Someone just suggested, should we maybe do it during the, mar the uh, Super Bowl marathon? <laughs> if it really is less than two hours, then that's something that we could do. Maybe on the Super Bowl marathon, we could do that. We could do the simulated yeah, Super Bowl game. Exactly. You can wait until exactly nobody cares about it and then play it. That's what you should do. You know what? Great idea. Please. Like one or two other quick games, and that's the marathon. I think that would, that would work. What do you think? Because, yes, when I think of the Super Bowl, I think Silent Hill. <clears throat> And maybe even um, like it. Street Fighter. Some people don't. And Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. What do you expect? Your chat to always agree on everything? Which, by the way, I guess what we should do now is talk about the marathon, right? So the marathon. Oh, and more schedule. Yes. All right. And this marathon. Finally. I was waiting for Saturday, this. The February schedule 10. segment for a specific so event. I'm dressed up in various NFL attires. I have three different NFL jerseys I can. Three different NFL jerseys I could wear over the day, and a silly football helmet I could put on. It's like literally, dude, this is literally like a Twitch thought, literally, where she got all the clothes and she's going to put a nice little helmet on and pretend that she cares about football just because it's a football themed event.
except he's not attractive in the slightest. He doesn't even have well, he does have tits, but they're not they're not my vibe, really. I'm not really rocking with so I'll only wear it temporarily. Uh, okay. I got other Super Bowl related props and things we could use as well. Um I'm gonna have some booze. What booze? I don't know. I gotta see what they got at the liquor store, but also this month I am going oh, to Oh, you you know exactly what they got at the liquor store, Phil. You know exactly what they got. Be strapped. And this month he's gonna be strapped. So from from the second day of the month, we're already setting up for a begging month. Very nice. Uh, because of the the trolling last month. Because uh, Tyrone uh, Kang now, for the I'm gonna membership, dude. Way less this month when I get paid by YouTube. So I just don't have a lot of disposable income this month. Everything's gonna be super tight for me to pay my bills and stuff. So I probably can't drop a lot of money on liquor. As much as I'd like to have multiple kinds of liquor to drink during this thing, I might not. I might just have to get like a pack of beer or something. Oh I don't no! Know. I'll see next week when it's my day off. I'm gonna get stuff for it. Um, He's just gonna get you know, we'll, like we'll a see. single can of but Bud Light. Anyway, I'm gonna be drinking, and we're gonna have food. My <laughs> wife this week is gonna look up. Some <laughs> He's too broke to buy himself alcohol for a special event. God damn! Some recipes and make food <laughs> that we're gonna eat during the event. Likely. So, dude, he's too broke to bring alcohol to his own party that nobody else is gonna drink. By the way, he's the only one drinking, but he can't bring his own alcohol to his own party. Some kind of a dip. Why even throw a party? Or crazy nachos and crazy nachos. Something to bake in the oven. We were already. They're bipolar. Make crazy quesadillas, like good quesadillas that are loaded or something like that. So we'll th we'll think about it. Um. But then we're gonna have this variety of gameplay and one of the things you guys have said you definitely want to see me do something nfl related so likely i'm going to do what you guys suggested on game pass i'm just going to get that old madden and i'm going to update the rosters and we'll probably do a sim match where the two teams play each other and we wow, see how that, what would happen in a sim match between the kansas city chiefs and the san francisco 40 san francisco 49 san francisco uh, 69ers, 69ers. <laughs> and i'll commentate on it while i drink <clears throat> which would be pretty funny. Well, what are you going to drink? Okay. Water? Outside of that, we were undecided what else to do. So maybe we do this Silent Hill, the short message game during the Super Bowl event for like a two-hour thing. Maybe we do some online play of, say, Tekken 8. Or maybe we actually do a Call of Duty stream. I'm actually thinking you guys might want to see Call of Duty because you haven't played it in a while now. And for me to be buzzed and play it would probably be pretty funny. You know, see if I can still get kill streaks and stuff or from bows that can't even aim, right? <laughs> I think that would be pretty funny. Um... So yeah, something like that. And then what else, whatever else you guys want. We could continue with one of the single player games I'm playing. We can do some check-in, learn a character. You know, we can do whatever you want. So it's going to be a more laid-back stream for sure. Um, <clears throat> one week from today, the Super Bowl Bash. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys will join me for it. It's going to be a good one. Is it going to be a good one? I, I guess it will be, even yeah. though he can't even afford the so booze. One final thing before we get into like the Phil's Day Off segment and stuff like that. We're going to beg? Some people are already asking, uh, hey, Phil, when is the next time that you're going to play a new game? Uh, what? I'm playing Like a Dragon Infinite Oh, my World. God, I'm more schedule. No. I'm playing two brand new games. They've only been out for a week. Bro. Week. Okay, they're still brand spanking new. Please. Um, Please stop doing this to me. I'm oh, juggling okay. Baldur's Gate. Don't forget about $100 a shot. Well, yeah, but if he doesn't have money for booze... Even though he will get booze, he's just acting. He's just acting now because he needs to set up that he's broke and you should give him money. But he's definitely going to get booze. You guys were angry that I didn't play it last week, so that's back in the rotation. And I'm also play playing Pal World, which is a relatively new game. Why are you chopping up so much, Burnell? Really popular. What the fuck is wrong so, with you? I'm not playing any new games. We are already. I'm not jumping. I'm not playing another new game. People today have this thing. Where they want oh, he's gonna shit on his streamers. fans again. These giant streamers jump from game to game constantly. They barely sink their teeth into a game enough to really finish it. Instead, they only play the game when it's brand new, white hot, and virally popular, and then they drop it. Well, I don't do that. I can't do that. I can't even. Well, maybe your method of playing games is just outdated, man. People don't have the attention span to watch a whole ass playthrough of a game they don't necessarily even care about, even if they like your personality. They're not gonna sit there for 40 hours afford to do that even if i wanted to you gotta understand i invested over 200 bucks in the two new games i'm playing yeah whose fault is that i can't sink more money into games right who, who asked him to get the most expensive 110 dollars version of the yakuza game who asked him to do that this month like i said things are already going to be tight i gotta cut back i gotta play stuff that makes sense focus on the things i already have 
All right. The, the next major release for me, absolutely freaking lutely is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and that's literally the end of February, okay? So we got the whole month to juggle these games that I'm playing and enjoy them, and I think we will, ultimately. But people have this, like, attention span issue now because this is how content creators have become. They become so, sadly, I hate to say it, they become so wealthy, that they can what? jump around and do zany stuff every day. Today, we're going to play this brand new game and then never play it again. But, bro, Today. why are you comparing yourself to people that get, like, 30,000 viewers live? You should compare yourself to your own contemporaries and your own peers. Not those people that are, like, infinitely more successful than you, you fucking idiot. Thank you, Sigmoid, for the five gifts, dude. Today, we're going to spend a million dollars on food and do... I hope they're real. ...pieces of food. Today, we're going to do this crazy prank challenge... And tomorrow we're back to playing another game just for one stream. It's like, yeah, if you're rich, you could do that shit. Normal yeah, but how did they become rich? Act like that. They can't. How did you become rich, Phil? <laughs> and why are you no longer rich? Right? So, that's never been who I am as a content creator. If there's a game that I like, I'm going to play it. And I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to make that meaningful experience with you. So, I get it that people are always fiending for what's next, what's the new thing. But what happens is then when, when you always are about what's new, what's hot, you never finish anything, and you're not really making anything meaningful. You're just making daily hype videos, and I don't make daily hype videos. You guys know that. I'm oh, not no. like that at all. That's what sets me apart from a lot of different uh -huh. things out there. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm good, because I don't make that content that people actually like. I make other stuff that people don't like. Um, <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. So there you go. Um, I hope... You guys understand. I'm not looking to be one of those new streamers. I don't want to change to fit the formula or the, the cookie cutout of what works on YouTube or Twitch. It's not me. I'm my own dude. I've always done stuff my own way. I like doing the stuff the way I do it. It makes it feel meaningful and fun to me. Yeah, but does it pay the bills? And I, I guess the answer is kinda. And to the audience that's- Because uh, this is also your business. If it was for fun, I get it. You can do whatever you want, but it's not for fun for it you know people expect that kind of content it's for business certificate of authenticity hey we got a certificate of authenticity there we go take my time with the games I'm uh playing. put put that next to the ace certificate of excellence so he's both excellent and authentic enjoy them fully not rush through them and play them for one two sessions and drop them to play the next game so that's the deal and the truth is also um <clears throat> i don't really feel like there's anything going on in february that's that crazy there are a ton of games, but none of them are really super prominent games. Foam Stars, this uh, Grand Blue role playing lying game. Again. Where is MK1? There's more too. Yeah, well, MK1, I guess it wasn't very successful, or at least I haven't really heard much about it since it came out. And now I think uh, Tekken is gonna Tekken is gonna overshadow it. So no, he's not gonna be playing MK1 probably ever again. In the middle of other major RPGs, because they had that one glitch you know, with the the player on, so two getting like a bonus so I'm not or really something. Too worried about it? I would say the biggest thing was Persona Three Reload, but I've already played Persona Three, so it's not like oh I'm in desperate need to play. I've already played the game, right? <clears throat> okay. Oh, and he got taken down again. Hold on, this is a couple of minutes from huh. now. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? This Grand Blue Fantasy game and Final Fantasy VII within a month, literally within a month. Okay. One month, all those games are out at the same time. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? No one was thinking when they decided this should be the release timing of all those RPGs. It's impossible. Yeah, so well. we get this One schizophrenic time. segment again. It's your fault. It's not the game's fault. It's your fault. I'm willing to bet all these RPGs are stellar games. But who's going to play four of them in a month? Right? Um, Imagine if Maybe you can play the one you're the most excited for and then just buy the other ones later on. When maybe when they're on discount, so you can get better value for your money. Four fighting games that came out within a month. Who the fuck would play four fighting games in a month? You can't learn it in that fast of a time period. And again, like this is his complete failure to relate to the common gamer, even though he pretends he's one of them and he's like just a regular guy. He just can't relate to the normal person that doesn't have eight hours a day to play all the video games. It's impossible. Or right? doesn't want to afford all the video games that cost $70 each. They're all going to cannibalize each other, and that's a problem. So, anyway, yeah, it's funny because someone says Suicide Squad. I'm not playing Suicide Squad. Yeah, of course okay. he's not. Everything points to the game is shit. The only good thing about the game it looks like is going to be the story. I don't care. Just being honest. I think Rocksteady completely lost their way. 
their management. Some people have said the two people who were head of Rocksteady during the Arkham Trilogy aren't there anymore. And so the company went on a completely different direction with this game. And basically, it's been a waste of five, six, seven years they've been developing it. It doesn't look good. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to play a looter shooter right now, quite frankly. I think I'm going to be bored to tears. What's actually more funny, too, is that people who actually are now looking at Suicide Squad really close, like with a lens, they're saying, you know, now that you're seeing what Suicide Squad is... People are now actually, listen to this, appreciating Gotham Knights more. Really? Like, is, and all the flaws that Gotham Knights had a year and a half ago when it came out, that game plays way more like Arkham than this new game, Suicide Squad. Oh, that game was all right. Really it wasn't, like, terrible. Game. So, basically, now people are like, ah, so maybe we shouldn't have crapped all over Gotham Knights because really that was the taste of Arkham that we're going to get. Because this new one is nothing like it. It's shit. <laughs> right? Um, and by the way, one one final thing. Um, a lot of people have been saying, well, the only reason we're going to buy a Suicide Squad game is a side issue. Oh, 100 what happened? This is a YouTube server. One final thing. Um, oh, yeah. A lot he, of people have been saying, got well, the blipped only reason off. we're going to buy a Suicide Squad game is a side issue. There we go. He teleported. 100%. This is a YouTube 100%. server side issue today. It, except it's only happening to him. The stream is blipping, and that's got to be on YouTube's side. What if it's on so your side, Phil? I don't know what's Phil? going on today, but it's What if there's a detractor in your walls that is using a lag switch for your internet? What if they have an EMP? I hope it doesn't persist. That would suck. What if it persists? I hope it doesn't persist. Oh, no. You guys are still here? So just so you guys know, that's the second time it happened during today's stream. It's not me. It's not my internet. I'm checking, and when that happens, I refresh, and everything loads fine on my PC. So it's not my internet. It's YouTube. YouTube must be having server issues today, where it's like losing, temporarily losing a connection and then reestablishing a connection or something. Yeah, it's really weird. But that's a YouTube issue, not me. I can't make that work. Uh, again, I'm refreshing. There's nothing wrong with my channel. Okay, stop There's talking about it on. then. My internet's fine. It God damn it. Somehow has something going on today. Because, <laughs> like, any normal streamer would be like, oh, it seems like we lost connection for a second. We're back now, guys. Let's keep going. But for him, it's like we need to have a three-minute segment after every, every internet disturbance. It's happened before, by the way. This is not the first time this has yep, ever happened. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Oh, what are we having here in yeah, chat? We have so. a poll. <laughs> Play Silent anyway, Hill, the, so the short continue, message on Saturday or Super Bowl party. Okay. I'm going to click so, on Saturday because um, I'm not going to be watching Saturday, yeah, so I'm I think. Not, basically this but I might watch the I'm Super Bowl party even squad. though, no why would I watch it? Awful. Uh, I'm I don't really care about football, like but I heard it's not about football. It just has a football skin on it. That's going to be 20, 30 hours of boring, looter shooter, grindy gameplay just to see the story. That's a waste of time. Um... I'm not. I'm probably not playing Foam Stars. I don't think anyone's even asking for it anyway. Uh, I think I'm just gonna continue with the games we're doing for now, and and go from there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> all right, all right. So, uh, that's that. Now, that's really it. What we need to determine right now is what are we gonna do with this Silent Hill game? Am I playing Silent Hill tomorrow? Oh my god, bro! You already talked about it like twice. As the daytime stream, which is god damn it. Another schedule for you guys that are here. Which day is Silent right, Hill so best? Talk about what I did and we got Phil's day off finally. I was not streaming. Our favorite uh, segment was another more laid back, chill day. Mostly because my wife is enjoying the new releases so much that she wants to play them more. And so we could have gone out yesterday and done some stuff. I low key think that Cat doesn't even have a job at this point. Every time we hear about her, she's not like quote-unquote coming home anymore and he's not checking up on her every time we hear about her is just she's just playing games but she felt like uh she wanted to instead stay at home and play games and hang out with me and i said all right i'm okay with that so the good news was for the first time in ages and i, I know she's part-time but a couple of months ago, when he was talking about her, he was bringing up that she would come back from work, she would wake up early to go to work. He hasn't talked about this in a while, I think. So that's my suspicion. I didn't have a lot of chores, a lot of kind of things to do during my day off. I didn't have to go around with a million appointments, no real meaning. Oh, just real quick, this is, a, this is a nice super chat that he's not going to read. 
by Keisha Bigby. That half apology you did was hilarious. Half the support. Keep it up. Very nice. Only thing. Very positive, that I too. I knew yesterday when I was out was grocery shopping. That was it. I didn't even have to go to like a pet store. I didn't have to pick anything else up. I was like, wow. For the first time in ages, like every day, when I have a day off every week, usually I have a million things I got to do, all crammed into one day. This week, finally, I just really didn't have that. And I was like, so maybe it'll be a lot less of a, of a annoying uh, day. Oops, and you saw it, and now it's going to get banned. Look at this. And, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, and he, he's distracted right now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's thinking about something completely else. It was good in that regard. So, we relaxed a little bit in the morning. Figured out what we wanted to do for the day, the order of stuff that we wanted to do. And my wife said, well, you know, let's let's make the grocery list. Let's see what meals we want to have this week. And we did a mix of uh, meals. Some of our return meals from last week. Some are, you know, things we're bringing back that we've done before. Oh, so they woke up and had a schedule segment about food. Very nice. They should make that into a podcast. It's going to work as, as well as this one. And... Uh, realized it was really short. We like we don't need any pet stuff this week. Oh, I don't have to go to the pet store. That's excellent. You know, so it saves me a drive over there. Um, so after figuring out that list, uh, huh? Burn money? What? What are you guys talking about? Huh? They're not talking about me. What is happening? Huh? Hey, what a bunch of idiots. Um, so, people pick are, up uh, Wing account. Zero for the membership. I have no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, um, so basically, went out, did the grocery shopping, and got back in record time. It was like a wow. fast trip. Like, it's a speed crap. run. Usually when I have a day off, I'm out for two, three, or more hours in a big chunk because I have so much to do, all these errands to run and stuff. And I was back within an hour. I was like, well, this is excellent. Um, so we unpacked. We did all that. It was like super early. Like it's not even close to being like dinner time or anything. So what do we do? So, my wife said, I was going to do Like a Dragon, but obviously, I don't want to spoil the game for you, but do you want to see what the Dokkan Island is? So, at least we have a preview of what we're going to be doing. So, the good news is the Dokkan Island is completely separate from, like, the plot of the game, and you could do it, and it doesn't spoil anything about the game at all, all right? So, basically, I watched her do the Dokkan Island for, like, an hour, hour and a half, and saw the setup, and essentially, it's a hybrid of a lot of different stuff. It, remi it reminded me of Animal Crossing, for sure. But it also reminded me of Disney Dreamlight Valley in a lot of ways. <laughs> um, it also reminded me... No wonder he wants to play it so hard. ...of some other <laughs> games, too. Like, it's a high, it's so many things in there. There's fishing. Wow. There's, there's planting and harvesting of crops. There's bug catching. Wow, it's like um, bug snacks. There's setting up and building your entire island. And then there's, you know, developing that island to have things that tourists want when they come to visit it so you make more money. Uh, and also... It ties in, which I didn't even know, it ties in with the Sujimon side questing game. Now, if you don't know what Sujimon is, it's basically a parody of Pokemon. So in this game, you catch various enemies oh, God. and become your minions, essentially. And so this is a Phil's Day Off. Then we got a derailment about the game. Then we got a derailment about that specific mode. And now we got a derailment about a diff different mode. You can pit them against each other there's a whole sujimon like side quest line with gym battles and everything yes the game actually has gym battles just like pokemon wow why don't you just play pokemon so while you're doing this didokan island gameplay you also are using your sujimon to do things like harvest crafting materials grow crops oh hell yeah you get to enslave pokemon up. that's my so jam levels without having to i'm gonna order the 110 dollar so edition as well at once it's kind of like multitasking in the game it's pretty unique, and my my wife was going for a more elegant look to the island because the island could do like five or something or something different looks. It's like elegant, pop star, sleazy. Uh, he's definitely gonna be the like sleazy one. Modern. So there's like five different styles that you can build on the island to make it look different, and each like visitor is looking for something different. One visitor might be like, "Oh, I like uh, the elegant." Shack, but and I, and I really would like it if while I'm there I could see it. Bro, I took a shower and he's still talking about this <laughs> butterfly. Why does he loop like this? Bro, we got like four schedule segments, man. And he talked about when he's gonna play Silent Hill like six times. This stream has been uh, super good, super good. And so your goal is to try to appease that visitor while they're there so that they're going to play spend a bunch of money on your island and then they give you a good rating and it makes your star level go up so now you can wow even more interested you know higher end customers 
and you do this for a long time. Um, surgeons don't even discuss their schedules this much. Yeah, and the surgeons also have uh, personal assistants. He should have one too that makes a schedule for him. Basically, you know, you keep going through so it. So he can blame him. Like five star island, and apparently by the time you hit five star, now the island's like a self sufficient crazy wheel moving. And you basically, the, what's the goal of the island? There's a few. Number one, you, you level up all your Sujimon this way. So instead of having to play the Sujimon game nonstop to grind and level them up, you do this to have them level up naturally during the course of this mode. But this mode also gives you a ton of money. Like, you actually can earn tons of money that you can then carry back into the main game to buy equipment and stuff for your party. So that makes sense. Outside of that, we're not sure if it unlocks anything else. Like, it's not clear if you beat the Dokkan Island if you unlock like something new in the game or not it's not you know it's, you don't know until you beat it but i guess she's played it for a bit like she while i was there watching her play she unlocked this farm area of the island where she could have the sujimon leveling up and farming and gathering materials and stuff so she's only in like the second part i think she got her island to two stars but to get it to five could take a while you know oh, just like yeah. animal crossing it seems like <clears throat> it really could take a, a, a good amount of uh, investment to get to this thing being maxed. I guess the question is, do, is it worth it? Like, will you get enough out of it to want to max it? Will this be something that my wife and I play like two, three times and we're like, okay, we've done enough in it six hours in. I got what I wanted out of it and that's it and I never do it again. Or is this something that we're going to want to do long term till we hit a five-star island together? You know, I don't know. I'll tell you this, it definitely has the same grind element um, as, say, Animal Crossing or Disney Dreamlight Valley, where once you get to a certain point, every day is feeling kind of same. You got to run around, gather all the resources off your island, fight off invaders. There's invaders that come to your island every day and try to wreck your stuff. You got to beat them up with a baseball bat. I know that sounds silly, but that's what you do. Uh, you got to appease the daily guests, do the daily tasks, craft whatever you can for that day, catch some bugs. Watch, rinse, repeat. Just like thinking Animal Crossing in a typical day, there's a cycle of stuff you do. It's exactly what it becomes in this once you set it up like that. <clears throat> so there may very well be a point where like one or two streams we do of this is really, really fun. But then it kind of gets more tedious. I don't know. And again, we won't know till we unlock it in my game and we play it. But so... you already know because your wife has unlocked it. Oh, here we go. It. So you, you know uh, what the experience is like. 13 says it took me about 10 hours to five star it. It's worth it because you get so much monetary value out of it. So there you go. Hey, there you go. Apparently, you get so much money to help you in the main game that it's kind of worth it. And if it's if, if you're saying it's 10 hours, that would be like five streams for my wife and I, right? So maybe, yeah, over the course of a month, month and a half, we play it and we beat it. That would be pretty cool, I think, right? Because, by the way, there's no way I'm going to beat this game anytime soon. Imagine you own a sandwich shop and you make tons of money. And now imagine you're Phil owning another sandwich shop that makes less money. How is that fair? Well, it's not fair, obviously, because uh, I'm just dr jumping on all the sandwich trends. And he's doing the, the good old classic sandwich. He's doing the bread sandwich with two pieces of bread and a piece of bread in between. That's a classic. But people, for some reason, they just don't like it, man. We need to do a poll. We need to figure out why. So I guess I'm taking feedback. It makes sense. I guess we'll see. Uh... I'm just doing all anyway, the trendy sandwiches. Uh, so, That's not fair, man. My sandwiches are popular yeah, just fun. for the sake of being popular. There. I watched her play, and it was fun. We only did it for like 90 minutes because I just wanted to taste of what it was so we get a preview when we do it together, right? Um, and then we had dinner, and what did we have for dinner? Hawaiian food. Why? Because we were playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and of course now yeah, there we go. our brains Epic. are so full of Hawaiian uh -huh. ideas and food. Bro, I thought you couldn't fucking pay your bills like two days ago. You were strapped for cash, and now we're taking out Hawaiian food. Get out of here with this bullshit. So we ordered Hawaiian barbecue. Um, Get out of here, Hawaiian delicious. fucking barbecue. Yeah. And then, uh, after that, play Tekken 8. He Which cried really cool. his ass so off about money. Into oh my god, I have bills to pay. And he started this stream off by saying that it's going to be a tight month for him. And now we're just talking about... And of course, this is a Phil's Day Off classic. Because we do that every time. He spent like a hundred bucks on a single meal. The uh, arcade quest mode. And did that for maybe like a half an hour. Because she needed to warm up. She hadn't played Tekken in a week. Like last time she played was our last day off. And class. also, keep in mind, they had schedule planning for food. And he went to the grocery store. And still they did takeout. Because that's what penny pinching is like. Sweet. So she plays with Victor. 
And she played for about a half an hour, and she got her bearings back. She remembered what the buttons were. She remembered some of her tactics. She was mixing up with throws and stuff. Yeah, we don't care about what oh, Cad did it. in a video so game. Why don't you try out the character stories? Because that's supposed to be a series of just five battles and then a little story segment. So she actually did it for Victor. And, I mean, the closest thing I can say is that this is like a shortened version of the old arcade modes. They used to have an arcade where you put your quarter in, and you play AI for like five to eight battles, and then there's like a boss fight and then an ending. Um, so she played through it, and she coasted through it. Like, she just kicked its ass. On medium, too. She didn't play easy. She played on medium difficulty. Like it's Oh, wow. Intended. She's a real she pro fighter. Right it, and she saw Victor's ending, which is like a comic relief ending. I'm like, yeah. And then after that, she's like, well, you know what I would like to do is play online, just to see what it's like, because I've never really played these games online before. So <clears throat> we set it up. And one thing I do have to say, Tekken, sadly, online just doesn't really have a good system for newcomers. It doesn't. Um... It only allows you to set it up so that you can play people within two ranks or more away from you and not more narrow. Like, you can't say only people of my rank or only people one level away from my rank. The minimum's two. So she's a newbie. She's never played online before. Her first match is against a person who had, like, 80,000 points. Okay, so what? You're going to lose, and that's it. You're going to lose plenty of games online. Like, why are you surprised? Fuck it. Just lose and move on to the next one. And just dominated and destroyed her with a Well, there we go. Combo. She's like, I don't even know what this is. I was like, I don't blame you. I have no idea why the game matched you like that. That's it's what like, playing online is like in every game. You can play League of Legends and get ma get matched with like a full don't stack ask about team. My money, just give it to me. Yeah, that's that's the that's the strategy, dude. Don't ask about where my money is going. Just trust me when I say that I need it. And don't ask any questions. It doesn't even make any sense that it gave you that matchup it's stupid because right? uh stacy then they started giving her more realistic matchups of her skill level and it was kind of hit or miss i believe i don't want to say like she won two matches like she, or when i say matches i mean sets like she actually beat two people and i think she lost maybe three times or four times she only played for just just under an hour i think because we've got to remember something she's not a fighting game player so she already played some of the, the arcade quests for like a half an hour then she did the character story. Then she starts playing online. Her thumb starts to hurt. I was like, yup, you're, oh, wow. you're getting the blistered thumb thing again. Because this is what happens with people who don't play fighting games. Play them a lot. And you're constantly doing the repetitive motions. You get calluses. Like, I have. Did I ever show you guys my fighting game calluses? Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> These will never go away. I have this guy is such a meme. Hands, right there. And right there. And that's from years of playing arcade games. And or games on a joystick. Because when you play, your hands sit on the joystick. Oh, too bad. He has a boo-boo. So since that's always rubbing, that becomes a callus. And so I have them. That's my... I wouldn't get calluses on... Dude, you should see the hands of somebody who works a job in construction. That's not from fighting games. That's from actual working, dude. My hands, because I use a joystick and buttons. But I got them on my wrists from playing. You see? So fighting game players just get that stuff. You know, what are you going to do? So... She was actually enjoying herself, although, guess who she lost to? A Steve who literally punch spammed, um, a Devil Jin who's playing easy mode and kept mashing buttons, and the computer kept doing high-low mix-up combos. I was like, it's bad enough that they allow you to use easy mode like this online, but imagine if you just press one button. Like, imagine if it's just the same button, you're just doing this, and the game is literally going high-low mix-up like this on your opponent, and your opponent's like, huh? How's that fair? Because she doesn't want to play easy mode. She wants to actually learn the game. So she's not using easy mode. She's got real controls. Okay. And it's like, how is that fair? That this fucking but, person is mashing a button and mixing everything up, right? Pretty stupid. But, but then why are you crying about being matched with a high rank level player when you want to learn the game and you don't want easy mode? Um, like, who actually fucking cares? Why do we actually have to care anyway, about this? Um, it's beyond me. So, uh, it was a good time. I watched her play. She, Like I said, she was very happy to get her first ever like online fighting game wins um because she hasn't played fighting games and i would say she started to get better because here's the thing when you play against ai and you play against humans it's a completely different experience the ai is stupid they only talk Half to the each time other to complain to love i don't know I, I think most of the time it's probably just him talking and she's just uh giving a yes or no response that's kind of how the dynamic seems like to me when you're fighting the ai in this game even at that's the, the vibe level, i'm getting it just stands there and we have uh, oak book the so black you get your rage Bleh. filled up you can just do it and it stupidly just hits the computer right in the face it's dumb it'll just walk right into it humans don't do that humans as soon as you get your rage they expect you're gonna mash it right 
So at first, as she's playing humans online, every time she gets raid, she's like, activate. And then they would block it. And she's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, they can block it easily. The rage move is more meant to go through and Okay, this is getting skipped. This is ass. Throw instead. Know the combo. Just throw mix up twice. Um, watching some more of some yeah. overall. Great what a great day. day. I had a good time. Relaxing. Enjoying the time off with my family. It was a good one. So, good, a good Phil's day off overall. Okay? An awesome Phil's day off, you can even say. Awesome. Now, God like. already... They ate food and played video games like children. What a great day. We don't have to go to school today, guys. We got a snow day. 12.15. Let's so stay inside. He reminds me like the kids from uh, South Park. Except they actually had friends and they, they did a lot of fun stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to get to shout outs and big ups uh, Job from the Bible for the membership. And if we get to Q&A and you guys want to ask me about state of play or whatever we can. This never happened. Kate told him to get lost and let her watch her non-narrative style TV show. And now he's just making up things now. <laughs> the non-narrative style TV show. I love that. <laughs> I love that one. That piece of lore. I knew this was going to happen. Like I knew I was going to have a lot to talk about today. And we weren't going to get to specifics of the state. But the thing is, you think about this, right? What he just said in the beginning of the stream is that people's attention spans have gotten shorter, so they don't want to watch long playthroughs. It almost sounds like a long playthrough is like a narrative-based TV show. And the non-narrative-based TV shows is what the other streamers do. And they play a game for a couple of days or a couple of streams or until they get bored, and then they move on to the next one. So he's kind of proving his own point by not having the attention span to watch a narrative style TV show. Play. So if you guys want to talk about not proving his own topic, point, he's debunking it. We can, but <clears throat> I guess we'll see how, what we get to here. All right, let's start with shout outs here. First of all, on the YouTube side of stuff, Big Daddy Dubs with a six month membership. <laughs> Persona 3 Reload looks awesome. Big Your Daddy Dubs. And again, if this were a time where there weren't a million other brand new RPGs out Yeah, we got that. Stuff. Excuse me. Oh, I need Maybe to get I'll that one. In the future, but right now, I just don't have time for it. If he said excuse me, must um, have been super gross. Let's see, we start off today. I hate this segment because she's not there. Oh, these segments, she should be here to talk for herself. Talk about cowards, am I right? Yeah, but you saw her when she was there. She wasn't really good at talking for herself. So this is, is basically the same thing. It's either he's going to put words in her mouth or he's just going to speak on her behalf. So it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Do we get to... No? No other shout outs? Or maybe there's a frozen tip. <laughs> well, it sounds like Sir, Sir Ed Sheeran to me $10. And his oh, it's Canadian Kirk. Got banned. And he got banned again? Oh, come on. How many times is this guy going to get banned and then come back on a sock and instantly everybody knows it's Canadian Kirk? But I don't know why he got banned. I have no idea. Uh-oh. Did this not work? I don't think the animations are working right now. Oh, no. They're not. Now, hold on. Yeah, maybe at this point you should let him go, Marty. Phil, even though he gives you a $10 every once in a while. If he keeps getting banned, maybe he should just stay banned. This is the correct tab, right? This is the correct tab. Maybe I have to refresh. Let me try refreshing. <clears throat> okay, Grandpa. No. Ugh. Separate window. There's a... How do I? Dude, how long does this go on for? No. Dude. Playing this. This like you know... two minutes. Mm. Of course, this, this is working fine. And now it has to fucking pull this now. Oh, no. When there's literally no way to, fa to figure out what could possibly be causing this to not work right now. Like, there's no way I could figure that out. Bro. I have no idea why this would not be working. It's definitely set up to work. In fact, let me test something. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, uh, Carl Weathers. The guy from Rocky, from Predator, a bunch of other stuff. God rest his soul. He produced a lot of meaningful content throughout the years. So a uh, huge shout out for him. Okay. Very positive guy. So that's those pop-ups. I'm going to turn those off and I'm going to turn on the react pop-ups. Okay. If I go to don't with the animations that they're not playing at all. Different. And <laughs> how many more minutes Two. and now he's just gone. Wow. What a crazy entertaining movie of uh, a movie stream. But it could be a movie. This is going to be the, the intermission. This is where the, the actor goes on break because he's been acting too hard. 
he's been in character for too long and now he's losing his mind but uh what do you guys want to talk about i guess we have some time for a q a as as it looks we, we might have time for some q a what was that did the corner demons get to him are they eating shit out of his ass with no spoon what oh no i think we lost phil you guys i think he's gone oh there we go have i ever punched a bee not yet but it's on my bucket list Uh, Burnell? Burnell. Come on, Burnell. Do I name my sex toys after WWE wrestlers? Like, uh, allegedly Vince McMahon. No. Uh, I named them after Pokemon. I don't know why it's not working. I and DSP fans. That Derek one goes crazy, man. Literally changed absolutely fucking nothing. <sighs> so, what do you guys have for dinner? <laughs> uh, I have more songs coming. No, nothing, nothing really in Something the works right me. now. He is whacking it. He's whacking it. I think he's a little bit too busy, but maybe he got distracted and just the, uh, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. No Dudes problem. are gonna agree. Sometimes you get the urge out of nowhere, and you just gotta pull out the 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 tool, pull out the stick. Sometimes, you know. I don't, I don't get to make up the rules. That's just what guys do. Why do I look so young and feminine? Um, I take uh, adrenochrome. That's what I do. And it, it's been working wonders for me. Do I get calluses? Uh, a lot. A lot and very often. But I try and conceal them. Because it's embarrassing. And I get them in very specific places. Whatever. What's my favorite style of food? Everything that is easy to eat. Um, well, no like pre-chewed food. I want to like baby food. Guys, and it's pissing me off. Um, I don't know why the some stuff that working. I just blend the in. You know, I get some fried chicken. I blend it in. Day. Shove it down my throat. I, I hit this button that says launch, which basically makes a preview window of it. And then it worked fine. And then my YouTube animations for DSP Gaming worked all week. All of a sudden, now they don't want to work. So fuck this. I don't care. Let's finish the show. Fuck what this. I maybe could do. I'm putting my foot down on the pop-ups. open it. And maybe that would fix it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, why it's doing that. I can't control it. Anyway, Sir Ed Sheeran is saying that he got banned. I don't know why you got banned. <laughs> He's saying that a moderator banned him this morning. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I'll have to look into it. If a moderator banned him, please tell me what happened. All right. I want to well, know why he's getting banned. I want to know what he did. Yeah, I think. I see. Yeah, th this guy in his chat is is framing it very correctly. Ed is banned because he's Canadian Kirk, and if you know Canadian Kirk, that would make a lot of sense. Because he's not in the chat, so I can't access his chat logs to see what he said. Oh no, he should come mm -hmm. back on another sock. Okay. Um. In the previous time, by the way, the previous time he got banned by YouTube itself. That's why he had to make a sock, not because DSP couldn't unban him. Then I got a $2 tip. And? Racism? What did he say? Something incredibly fucking stupid. <laughs> he should know better. Is he? Does he know better? <clears throat> he knows that racism is not allowed in the chat, and he should know better than that. All right, but what's going to happen <laughs> if he's racist in uh, chat? Go You're going to give him a slap on the wrist? Bro. Did a $2 tip and says, I watched Shin Godzilla for the first time today. This is the most terrifying depiction of Godzilla I've seen. It's on Prime Video. Oh, is it? I, I have never seen it. Um, <clears throat> the latest Godzilla movie I saw was Godzilla vs. Kong, which I reviewed last year. Yeah, that um, one was uh, all right. Ones. Interesting. I might have to look into it. Okay. Okay, do we have any more contributions or is it just Q&A? And we're gonna pretend like the suggestion box doesn't exist. Okay. And your moderator is lying. Wait, what? Ten dollar tip and he says, no, I didn't say anything racist. I said, Phil rises and shines early. He's good enough, strong enough, and doggone it, people like him. And your moderator is lying. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But hey, they sent him another ten dollars. So um, big up, Sir Ed Sheeran. <sighs> He's definitely getting unbanned.
But the thing is, nowadays on YouTube, you have this thing where you can click on, on somebody. If you're a moderator or the owner of the channel, you can click on somebody and view their, uh, their channel history on your channel. So you can see their messages in chat. You can see their comments. So Phil can actually do an investigation and uncover the truth about why Sir Ed Sheeran, totally not Canadian Kirk, was banned. This is, of course, what I want to do this morning, right? I want to fuck around trying to figure out what's what's actually happening with this bullshit instead oh, yeah. of trying to figure out why my animations don't work or you know get to or do schedule talk. meaningful talk do, right <clears throat> okay thing but maybe not and more hey there we go it works look at this so exciting i love seeing these animations they're the best because it's just like, if, if you guys can tell, it's like a, a a clip of a game, but it's been face swapped with Phil. Work. I think I had to click on, there's an option that says, Look at this, that rocks. Refresh browser when the scene becomes active. <clears throat> so maybe it had some outdated browser cache in there, right? I think that's what it was. Let me test a few. I think I had an outdated browser cache. So now it reforced the refreshing and now it works. <clears throat> yeah, now we refresh the cache. Okay. Because uh, Ed Sheeran sent him like 20 bucks, tip. so he got all new cash. Again from Sir, from Sir Ed. Wow, look I'm at this. To be a just saw ultimatums. <laughs> he says, maybe I'll leave if, if it wasn't a pay pick, he would tell oh, them to this. email him, call them an idiot, and tell them that he's said how to do it many times before. Yeah. He will be unbanned. Yeah, but this guy gets the red he carpet. A proud ally would never let a racist back. Well, he's just a proud ally on paper because it's the good thing to do. It's it's the right thing to do. Again, so look at this message, though. Sir Ed. This is a really good message. Hello? I'm not trying to be a jerk or just out ultimatums. He says, maybe I'll leave if, you're, if your moderator is going to abuse his power. Uh-oh. Listen, I don't know what's going on. But you see the power play here. He sends him like $30 and then threatens to leave. And DSP is instantly like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's talk about this. Let's not make any harsh and really quick decisions here. Let's, let's talk about this like adults. All right. Can everyone just fucking relax and stop with bullshit? No, I mean it now. Can everyone just because take a sigh of relief? And cut the bullshit. All right, everyone, moderator, viewer, whoever it is, everyone just cut the bullshit this morning. All right. First of all, don't ever threaten me. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Or, or what? Or actually, what? What is gonna happen, Phil? What is gonna happen if you threaten? If somebody threatens you? I don't respond well to any kind of threat. Whatsoever. Or, in fact, I respond very poorly to threats. Or, I really, really do. Um, or now. I have no idea what actually happened. I have no evidence of any of it because apparently it was all in the chat and removed or gone and there's no way I'm scrolling up, I can't see it. Nah, all you right? can definitely find so it. I can't actually confirm anything. You don't have logs in Nightbot? You definitely do, because I do. And I use Nightbot okay. just like you do. I don't know what really happened. So I can't say in any situation what actually happened, right? <clears throat> I just don't want people saying and doing dumb stuff. All right? I don't. And I don't know, you know, again, people are saying this guy has been innovated before. We know that, though. Yeah. Like, I know that he's But it's okay because it's him. Stuff. That was not good. It was not kosher with the rules of this channel. He got banned. He came back on new accounts. I mean, we're all aware of this, right? We know who he is. <laughs> this is no shocker, no twisting, no huge surprise or whatever. Now, um, this is also not a huge surprise that you can go, go to nightbot.tv and view the last thousand messages that have happened in your chat. So it seems like you could actually get to the bottom of this if you really wanted to, Phil. It's this simple. Did you, you said you email me? I and also Phil told him to create a new account and ban evade. He straight up told him that. I don't even know if I can look into it now, but I like to think that I wanna, I wanna be a nice guy about stuff. Uh-huh. Right? I wanna be fair about everything. Um. But I'll be honest, yeah, Sir Ed, you basically have, uh, and by the way, I don't even have an email from you. <laughs> I don't even have an email from you. You said you emailed me? I don't have one. Uh-oh. 
This is a really uncomfortable segment. This this whole thing is like, no, no, don't do that. But uh, since it's Phil, please keep doing that. Looking right now, I don't even have an email. I got some spam emails. That's about it. So if you're even trying to email me, apparently you you emailed me and your email got sp got labeled as spam because <laughs> I don't even have it in my inbox. All right. Uh oh. So listen. But you can check your spam box. It's not like spam gets instantly deleted. You get tens of gigabytes on storage on your email. I like having people on the chat that are positive influences. And, and of course, supporters, obviously, are welcome. But I can't have people coming to this chat saying stuff that could be considered offensive... And then asking constantly to be unbanned a million times. Right? Uh-oh. Are we putting the foot down? I don't know down? what happened this morning because I wasn't there. But I can outright say, yeah, I know that Sir Ed has said stuff in this chat that has been considered offensive. You know? And maybe maybe over a decade ago, you know, this kind of stuff would have been fine. And people wouldn't have cared. But we're not, we're, we're not 2010 anymore. I, listen, I learned this the fucking hard way. Right? I'm you not, learn everything the hard way. And even if you do, you don't learn. We're not 2010 anymore. You can't just say and do whatever you want. And people take offense to stuff constantly. Right? So you got to stop with this nonsense. Right? It's that ser It's that simple. And I can't allow that kind of stuff in the chat. I absolutely positively have seen this guy, Ed, do messed up stuff in the chat. So it's kind of like, how many chances do you give someone? This person, what are they on? Their fourth account now and they're the thing is they're a supporter every day they come by and they uh -oh. use support the streams and that's very appreciated but also there's rules that everyone has to follow the rules aren't just for some the rules are for all so that we can all have a safe and fun time together and not have this kind of offensive stuff going on right right it seems to me right if this person is in the chat they're just going to keep making the same mistakes and have problems Okay, you know, so you leave them banned. They are. I mean, Correct? How many t Ed, I'm talking directly to you because, by the way, your name's not Ed. I know this is like your fifth account. How many times have we already had this? <laughs> you told them to make five accounts, dummy. Conversation. And it's the difference between, oh, one mod is, is uh, you know, picking on me. It's not one mod. You've been moderated by multiple mods before. You do say the things in chat. I've seen them. All right? <laughs> this is not someone making it up. I've seen it. I don't know today if that's... Hold on. You've seen it, but you let it slide? What? Hold on. What happened? That I don't... I've seen them. I didn't see and nothing them. happened to the guy until a different moderator moderated them. That's uh, suspicious, Phil. See anything. All right? He just snitched on himself. Because I was busy with juggling a million things trying to get the stream to work. But definitely, you know the rules, Right? And you know the stuff that you're saying is way too risque. And you're basically trying... What do they call it? You're pushing the envelope. You're testing the boundaries. Well, you've tested the boundaries multiple times. They've been banned multiple times. Why are you still testing them? This you've is going to be his final time, I promise. Now you're jumping over the edge. Now Just you're one jumping time. off the cliff. But then you're asking for someone to toss you a rope so you can climb back up. You already jumped off. <laughs> There's no safety net down there for you. You understand? Um... I don't even know what else to say. Like, if I unban... First of all, I don't have an email from you, so I can't unban you. There's no email in my mailbox. It sounds like when you're emailing me, you're getting caught in spam now. Uh-huh. Because you've emailed me so much to get un unblocked that you got caught in a spam filter. Really? So you... But you can search? You can search the previous emails from him? Come on, man. You're, you're getting tangled up in your own lies here. It's very uncomfortable. But uh, please go on. And now my email won't even accept your emails. Like, I'm looking right now. Uh huh. I don't have. I literally don't have one. <laughs> this yeah. is such an unnecessary segment, but it's actually the the most entertaining part of this whole podcast. So I hope it keeps going, and gets even more uncomfortable. Uh. So I couldn't unban you even if I wanted to. All right. So all I will say is this, Ed. I'll, I'll give you one more chance, but it sounds like you're gonna need yet another account. Because I can't even unban the what? account you're on. For some reason, I can't. I can't even get an email from you. Bro, get the fuck. What? What? All right. Just make another song. Wait. 
This is going to be your last chance. You have to stop with this bullshit. <laughs> All you got to do is behave like everyone else. Stop making this racially insane. comments. Stop thinking you're funny. It's not funny. It's stupid. All right? It's ignorant. It's dumb to say that shit. You can't be saying that stuff. Especially on during uh, Black business. History Month. Make sure that this you can't is do that now. With the rules of YouTube. And YouTube doesn't want that shit. You know? I don't want that shit on my streams. That's not who I am anymore. You know? Yeah, this is his fifth last chance. But I can't even... The fifth time. Unban you regardless if I wanted to. There's no way for me to do that. All right? <clears throat> Unbelievable. And it's going to be even funnier if he got banned for something that wasn't even, like, against the rules. They just leaned him uh, by, by reflex. I like by the intuition. thing people learn, but I don't know. Honestly. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Very cringe segment. You should probably stop, Phil. Just move on. Sir Ed tipped another $10. There and we Sam go. He's basically saying the same thing. Sir Ed, I, do you not understand what I'm saying? What is he saying, though? Oh, this must have been a pretty hard-hitting message since he didn't even read it. I have seen you say racist things in the chat. Uh-oh. Myself, I have seen you say racist things in the chat. I can't confirm this morning if you did it, but I've seen it myself. All right? 100%. It's happened. So this is not someone's just making it up. I mean, you're on, like, your 10th YouTube account. You know? This is not people are ganging up on you. This is reality. You've done these things that people don't like, and you've upset them, and now it's biting you in the butt, and you're coming to me to defend you. I'm not going to defend that kind of behavior that you've... The things you've said in the chat are fucked up. Okay? I'm not. I'm not going to defend that. You know? I don't... The thing is, I don't think you're a bad person. I just think that you think that this is, like, your personal stand-up comedy act. It's not. <laughs> you're not just saying do whatever you want. No, here. this is Phil's personal stand-up comedy act. And his therapy sessions as well. Throw money at tips to support the streams. You understand that, right? That's not how it works. You can't buy yourself ban immunity. You can't buy yourself immunity to the rules. Yeah, but he just did. Do you realize he just did? Because you just told him to make another sock account. Even you hate sock accounts. As long as they're they're not trolls, we support them, I guess. You can't. It's not how life works, you know? So, I thank you. And meanwhile, by the way, the entire chat is shitting on him. For all of your support, <laughs> you have to abide by the rules. This is the first time we're actually having this conversation, by the way, for the record. Uh, he's gotten banned before. Wait, how is this the first time you're having this conversation? You just said that you've noticed him and you've talked to him about it and you tell them, uh, you told him that it's his last chance like five times. This is not the first time. I think I did unban him once or twice in the past, but this is the first time we're actually having this direct kind of one-to-one -one conversation. Why we're having this on my podcast, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, because now it's right? public and it makes him look bad. Oh no, you should delete this stream, Phil. Unlike all the other streams that so, you just leave up. Here's the thing. I can't unban you even if I wanted to. Yes, you can. Because I can't. I, apparently, I'm not getting your emails. So, it's up to you if you want to try to come back again. I don't know what else to say. Um, but simply put, all right, I'm not going to put up with this stuff. If I, I, I just want you to act like everybody else. Right? But that's the thing. You are putting up with this stuff. You're actually even telling him how he can come back to your chat. And avoid getting banned. Literally nobody else sits By here. By just making a sock account. Spouting off the kind of stuff you say. And then gets into trouble and has to complain about it. Like, you know what I mean? It's your own behavior that's causing this. Regardless, even if this moderator does have a bug up their ass about you. Because maybe they do. But there's probably for a reason. Typically I'm not aware that I have moderators that come into the chat. And today they look at the chat and they say, Today I'm going to bother this person. And then they just start timing them out nonstop. That, that's never happened. And yeah, we've had a, I've had a few bad apple moderators over the years, and they've been dealt with. This is not the case. This is you've broken the rules. You've been moderated, so now the mods are out looking for you because of your behavior. <laughs> you understand that, bro? This dude is making it seem like he's in the mafia or something, right? It's the fake Italian mafia. They're just like the real mafia, except they're only twenty five percent as strong. So, I will say this again: I can't even unban you, right? But I also can't stop you from rejoining. But if you rejoin and you act like this again and you get moderated, there's nothing I can really do to help you. You know, I <laughs> I have people think that I'm like this ultimate control god. Freak? And I can like, I can't make you not act that way. I can't make that not offensive to people 
and then people will then react in a negative way towards you. I can't f fix any of that. That's <laughs> it's not within my realm of control. All right, I'm just supposed to be doing a podcast right now instead of talking to you for ten minutes about this. So <clears throat> I don't even know what else to say. Nothing. Just just um, let it go. Just ban him and be done with it. Just tell him to go fuck himself because he's just gonna get banned again. And uh, you know, but he keeps sending those tens. So hey. Next time we gotta order some Hawaiian barbecue, it's on Mr. Ed Sheeran. Ed, again, because I know that's not really your name. What's if the you name come though? Back, great. Again, I like talking with you. You have you have been a positive part of streams, but there's definitely a legit gripe that people have with you for the stuff that you have said. I hope you understand this. This is not people are just making it up out of the sky. People have issue with you for good reason. Yeah, but what about all the people that have been banned from his chat for saying things like LOL? Because legitimately, sometimes he's going to be in the in the middle of a begging segment. Somebody's going to say LOL. And they get a huge toxicity segment towards them. And then they get banned. But this dude can keep coming back and back and back. And quote unquote, I can't stop it. All right. So again, I can't unban you. Don't be upset with me. I literally can't unban you. I didn't even get your email because it sounds like you got flagged for spam. No, that's just bullshit. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and realize there's probably a reason why people are upset with you. Right? Because, Phil, you know what his email is because you get that message from PayPal whenever he sends you that 10. So you can look up that email in your mailbox, dspgaming at hotmail.com, and you can actually find it. That's crazy, isn't it? Yes. But now we got to feign ignorance because otherwise he's just going to make himself look much worse. Okay. I hope you, get, I hope you understand what I'm saying. All right, I'm trying to be nice and fair about it, but some people, you know... I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue, shall we? Oh, uh, yes. Um, on the YouTube side of things, Lysifer uh, sold it a super chat said, good morning. Would you like consider every other streamer, he could verify this, but of course, he's Phil. Oh, yeah, he can do that. And he might keep live chat replay because uh, his streams go private, so why not just have the live chat replay? He Shut might actually earlier. be using no. it. Um, we don't even know. Super chat. The lucky gremlin gifted t He can say all of this worry-free because it's a pignotized dent who will tip on another account tomorrow. But that's the Cat thing, though. Has a magic part-time retail job where she never works nights and weekends and is always home by 3 p.m. Right? Really interesting. Either hate her so much they just give her pity hours or SH is not working. Uh, it might be both. I don't know. But uh, in my opinion, if he's not talking about her coming back from work, going to work and all that stuff in between, she might not even have a job anymore. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole thing is that this is not really a pignotized dent. It's a dude that threatened him to leave. And now it's like, we gotta do damage control. We gotta ride the fence. I've seen the racism. Yikes, less than greater than. Ten members. Yeah, that's uh... a... <laughs> the community. i seen the racism and I did nothing? Hold on. So what have we learned today? Saying Phil's life is not like a game is a crime graver than racism. Oh yeah, by just saying that he said something cringe gives you a massive outburst of rage. But this shit? Nah, you, all you gotta do is just make another sock account. Sounds good. I'm not going to stand for that behavior, but since you're giving me money, it's all Congratulations good. Sounds good to me. VJK. Oh yeah, and uh, somebody dropped them a legitimate 10 member bomb. An actual legitimate this time. Phil is more mad that Kirk derails the stream and takes attention off him. That is true. Kirk never got timed out by Phil or a mod for racism, but they can snipe out the slightest joke at DSP's expense. That is also true, but I, I do think they got He's timed out. All his hate army you. generals. All the hate army generals, man. Their membership for two months. Uh, I think the, the hate army generals are actually the mods. I, the I don't think I Kirk was a general. I think he was just a sponsor. He just contributes he to the war, he, he, to the military-industrial complex really of DSP him. Gaming. Nor do I have the power to He's a, him regardless. Like, I couldn't a, an important I donator. <laughs> I can't. I don't even get his emails anymore. So yeah, he is a loyal share, shareholder. That's All what right, he is. I received a dollar fifty tip from Beaver Bother. Where's my second chance? Uh, you don't get one. Ah, uh, there we go. Should have sent him a Beaver ten. Bother, you were like pretty, pretty blatantly offensive in the things that you were saying and doing. Just like Kirk. That's why you never came back. Just like way, Kirk. Again, I, oh, no. I'm not unbanning this guy. He keeps making new accounts. Oh. Like, I haven't unbanned him the last two times. <laughs> he just makes a new account and shows up again. Okay. okay. But I, I thought that was bad when your trolls did it. But when your fans did it, it's okay. I guess. That's a that's a nice double standard right here. Um, To the point where he actually tells him. It's not like, it's not like the guy is making that new account because... 
there's nothing else he can do. DSP straight up told him in the past, hey, yeah, if you make a new account and come back, oh, that's cool with me, dude. I received a $25 tip. Oh, yeah. This stream is super positive. From a page that is very slowly loading. It's a one minute man. One minute man. Yep. We I mean, already for, know. Or mausoleum, which we're getting to. We're not there yet, but we're going to be going to that very soon. In no, nah, we're not doing this. But I don't want to have this be some kind of a preview spoiler. So I'm just going to say thanks. Thanks for the money, dummy. For the chip. Not near yet. So there's daily support. For your really daily support. That. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, that was a heck of a podcast, huh? <laughs> you know what? We're about to end the show. So I got my glasses here, and we're going to put them on in a second. Uh, Amazon truck. I was like, you hear that? Yeah, that's the backup sound of a truck. I don't know if it's an Amazon truck, but that's the backup sound that certain trucks make. And that's what that sound was. You're right. I heard a, tr a truck outside. Sure. That's a... Uh... DSP should do it. Interesting. Ban worthy events. You know what? That that's a good one. That's a good one. Actually, we should make a, a a tier maker of that on TPS. That's a good one. All the times he got banned, laid off, or kicked off of some place. Jade says he's beaten all the character episodes. Because there's like quite a few of them. There's at least seven, eight times. Tekken eight, and he's wondering if I can use the jukebox tonight. This shocks yeah, me. Tell me that there's a way to have all the different Tekken music. And by the way, it was always unfair. Every single time he's been banned off of some place or kicked off for one reason or another it was always unfair not a single time did he deserve it correct not just tekken 8 music but have like all the different tekken musics maybe i'll look into that tonight for variety of music all right well if you guys remind me tonight maybe i'll, I'll see if we can set that up i don't know how to set that up yeah maybe we don't there it is again hey nice glasses dude you can see those tips better Pity party. You, you think well, you're just Wait, what? five bucks? It says, Do you think you made a mistake not doing the documentary because since you've been so stressed out recently, you could have shown that in the documentary? The documentary is not meant to be a pity party, you, but it was going to end up being about the boogie documentary, where literally the entire documentary is supposed to be like, Oh, woe is me. But that then it backfired, and everyone just kind of says he looks even worse after that documentary. No, you, you completely missed the point, or you didn't even watch it, which is what I would like to believe. Um, because the whole point of the documentary was for Boogie to look as bad as possible because that's what he believes he is, and he's the king of pity. Yeah, that's not what the documentary was going to be at all. But, like, how do you make a triumphant documentary about DSP when his life is everything but triumph? Unless you consider still existing to be a triumph, and existing by humiliating himself on a daily basis so he can look as pathetic as possible so people can feel some kind of sympathy and pity towards him and support his lifestyle. And then he can eat some Hawaiian barbecue. At all. It was supposed to, you know, you're you're comparing it to something it's not. So just to let you know, no, that wouldn't help at all. Even if right now they were filming that documentary, it wouldn't have been the point. It wouldn't have been that it's not what I want to focus on. I don't want to focus on, oh, I'm mentally tired because of trolling, you know. But that's what the whole last <laughs> week was about, right? Anyway, no, can you, it would have backfired, and here's why. Can you imagine? I'm already stressed right now pretty badly with everything going on. I got not only stuff publicly going on, as you see on the streams and stuff, but I got stuff going on in my private life as well. Now I'm supposed to also film So does everybody else, Phil. I'm Literally everybody else got stuff going on in their private life. I don't know why he thinks that everybody lives a perfect, flawless existence with no trial or tribulations at any point. Doing everything else... I don't know how that would work. Just being honest, I realistically, <clears throat> I don't know how that would work. Um, how would I have had time to do that? Right? I don't know. Oh, he did? Carl Weathers passed away today? Oh, that's sad. Carl Weathers, one of the most awesome actors of the 1980s, right? When it came to like a badass kind of action hero guy, you know, he was in uh, Predator. He was obviously... Uh, Apollo Creed, right? <clears throat> in the Rocky movies? Hell yeah. I'm trying to remember what else he was in. Those those are the two big ones that everyone remembers him for. Wasn't he right? in Ghostbusters? Um, oh no, that was somebody else. I'm trying else. to remember what else he played that was like notable from the 80s. 
because he was in a lot of movies. He always was kind of the awesome supporting action hero character guy, right? Oh yeah, he oh, was cool right. as hell. Happy Gilmore. I totally forgot he was in Happy Gilmore. Hundred percent. Cool. Yeah. He oh was, yeah, he uh, was the, in Arrested the, Development Happy too. Gilmore, right. That was fun yeah. as hell. I'm sure, yeah, if you go to IMDb. But he was a great actor. So, rest in peace to Carl Weathers. Sad to hear that we have lost him. I loved all his stuff from the 80s. Super good stuff. Um, Let's see here. Lines vs. Old did a, another super chat. He says, Game of the Year Suicide Squad came out today. Oh, it actually came out today? I didn't even know it came out today. I had no clue that it released today. Yeah. Did anyone? People are oh, running a train on that game. that game. Everybody is following that game. I had no idea it actually came out. They're, they're following that game in the same way they're following DSP, pretty much. Today. Yeah. Sir Ed, with another tip. Oh. I didn't say that. See, now Sir Ed's putting words in my mouth. and I guess Oh, what's say. the message, Phil? Come on. Now we're just misrepresenting what the guy said, which is not fair. <laughs> Sir Ed, what? My goodness. Because now we get to hear DSP's side of the story. Because he doesn't read. He only reads the messages that are convenient to him. Sir Ed. My goodness. I don't know what else I can say to you. I really don't. Tell him to suck a dog off and that he's gone. All right. I don't know what else I could say to Sir Ed to make him understand that basically the reason that he's having negative things happen to him is because he's breaking the rules. No one picked you out of everyone in chat and said, you're the one I'm going to bother today. You're the one I'm going to abuse. It's your behavior. Is the oh, yeah. That guy has the fill complex. So now basically DSP is talking to another DSP, and it's really funny. The reason this happened. All right. <laughs> he basically says he's he's not tipping because he wants to buy his way back. He wants to support me. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. There you go. <laughs> what a huge cuck. What a huge cuck. I do. But again, this is not the podcast about you, nor should this be a podcast about should I unban you? This is ridiculous. Like, why is this the situation right now? Right? It's It's stupid. Okay, so... Are we going to talk more about it? Or no, we're just going to take a sip. Not even a lip smack. dead on arrival on Steam where you can track an amount of players that only peaked at 5,000 and now it's already dropped. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sheesh. Hello? Say something, please. Please say Jesus. something. I'll see you oh, Jade says Customization something. in the jukebox. Hell yeah. But where is the jukebox? Is that like in the audio settings? Like, like options? Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> something else? Also, Kavar says, I heard it's not that bad, but it does have a bunch of horrible ideas, so I'll grab it for $5 in a month since no one's going to buy it. <laughs> wow. Well, that's probably what's going to happen. Okay. Hi, yi yi. Well, we got more tips coming. I don't think we're ever going to end the show. Whoa, it's look at like this. I'm stuck so positive. This podcast. I can't get out of it. Uh-huh, because you spent like 10 <laughs> minutes talking to some guy that got banned the like endless. 10 times. We got Play Cool did a, a tip and says, the mausoleum should be done last. It triggers the end game of Act 2. Basically, they just told me a little bit about the plot of the game. Care about the spoiler. Excuse me. So it doesn't really matter what we were going to do. How do you portray that unless you actually see it in action? So, yeah. There was going to be a film crew in my house. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a documentary what, what talk. What am I known for? Being a live streamer. Well, how do you portray that unless you actually see it in action? So, yeah. There was going to be a film crew in my house, in this room, filming me one day as I streamed. Like, actually seeing me stream and see what it entails. Seeing, like, a, a work day in my life, right? Yeah, it really and sucks we didn't get to see that. my life as well. Other things that I do, how things are, you know. All, all carefully controlled to the point where basically nothing personal that would be harmful would be revealed, right? I mean, right. You could definitely say how skeptical you could be because, as I said, um, I've had times years ago where I would be f filming in my kitchen, and there's a accidentally I oh my god countertop. It just so happens to be a utility bill. And then someone calls the utility company, impersonates me, and they were shot, right? That's why it's like I accidentally have something in a shot, and you don't know what it's going to do, and the next thing you know... But, bro, you're acting like those people are not going to review the footage while they're editing it, because they're actual serious 
YouTube um, video makers. So they're going to, while they're watching the fucking footage and editing it, they're going to see the things that are in the footage, Phil. So give me a fucking break with this whole victimhood bullshit and this whole paranoia because it just doesn't make sense. People can use this to be malicious, right? Right. So, yeah, I mean, there was it was going to be a situation. And also, this debunks as well the, the whole WWE champions, I don't want to show my phone because it's going to expose my personal life type of thing. He was showing his phone and making screenshots of it on forums when he was playing WWE Supercard. He was making recordings of his stream when he was playing Pokemon Go and filming the actual gameplay of the game. So he's done this multiple times in the past, never revealed anything private. There's no reason to think that he is going to reveal something private in WWE Champions 2. So thanks for the excuse. It doesn't fly. Where filming in the house was going to happen, but it was going to be controlled to the point where personal stuff that would be harmful was not going to be revealed right but there was not just going to be in the house there was going to be other stuff too like do you really want to have me be interviewed here you see me sit here all day every day correct how boring would it be if let's ask phil questions about his life for the documentary and it's the same spot he sits every day no okay obviously what was going to happen is there was going to be like a professional shooting location uh-huh i was going to be and there was going to be a good setup and everything wow so you're they're going to interview you in a studio wow it's so so unique and innovative you know what i mean so, it was going to be a real documentary. This is not just a fuck about thing. This is going to be a serious level production, high level production value deal. Um, but like I and, said, and what did he do? Exactly. What did he actually do? He made that guy commit to the project. He made that guy spend a bunch of money to fly in there and have a meal with him and his wife. And then he made a bunch of excuses why he's too tired and stressed out, even though he was too tired and stressed out before he committed to that as well. So big ups, Phil. You wasted somebody's fucking time and money yet again. And go through with it was number one. You guys didn't seem to want it. You were very nervous about it, right? You're oh, you guys didn't want it. Year. You didn't want any more drama this year. I hear you. I understand that. I know my choices affect you. Yeah, sure thing, not Phil. Just me. So I didn't want to go through with that level of drama. Number two, because as you saw, the detractors were fucking rejoicing about this thing as if it was like God's gift to them. Because it was going to give them endless amounts of content to make free money-making content that was all toxic forever. I didn't like that take at all. But, but this still exists. That's the thing. He still makes content for his detractors on a daily basis. People are going to clip the shit out of, the, uh, of that Canadian Kirk segment. It's always going to happen with everything he does. Well, it definitely turned me off from doing it. And number three, there's just too much going on right now in my uh -huh. life. I'm too stressed out. I'm already at my wit's end. I got to... By the way, the number three excuse was his number one excuse why he canceled. But now it's everybody else's fault, basically. We're doing revisionist history again. Now it's the troll's fault and the fan's fault. A million things I'm juggling to try to make happen. Like just this week alone, I'm working on the React channel. I'm working on the Throwback channel. I'm working on everything on this channel. I got to start working on my taxes. I got to do private React videos. How the okay. fuck also am I going to be doing a documentary? Well, just stop working on those channels that get 100 to 200 views each. Just do that instead, because it's not worth it. And you should know at this point, it's not worth it. I'm one man. I got too much going on. If I'm one man, except all those people that make stuff for me for free. It'd be one thing if I have literally nothing going on, and this is my last leg attempt to try to get attention for myself to remain pertinent on the internet. That's not the case with me at all. You understand? I'm very different than a lot of the people that people tend to compare me to. I have a successful business. Uh-huh, really? I'm happy doing what I do. Bro, how is it a successful business? It seems like he doesn't even believe the shit he's trying to peddle. Because, like, up until the last day he was streaming, he was threatening that if the Argentina thing continues, he might even have his business threatened. How is this a successful business? When some dude with a VPN can spend $2 and threaten the existence of his business. I don't need this documentary. Right? I don't. I don't need it at all. Maybe you should have thought about this before you wasted that guy's time, energy, and money. I'm sure he appreciates that greatly. And like I said, I think maybe this is just not the right time for it. I feel like maybe down the line, something like this might make sense, but I don't feel like I'm at the point in yeah, my dude, life. Yeah, dude. Dude. That's a good point, Hate Army. Uh, this dude with the successful business literally said he can't afford alcohol for his special event for the party that he's throwing he's throwing a party where he's gonna be the only guy drinking and he can't even afford to get himself a drink 
That sounds like a very successful business to me. Where this, this is necessarily a needed thing. Okay? So that's why I didn't do it. Yes, I'm going to freeze myself like Ted Williams. And again, super selfish. This wasn't necessary for me. That's why I didn't do it. Yes, I am. But I so committed I to it. And I, I led everybody along thinking that I was going to do it. And then I didn't do it because I'm a bitch. That ran. It said 56% of people are saying maybe I should do Silent Hill the short message tomorrow. 44% said save it for the Super Bowl party. So, I mean, it's close. It's definitely in favor of tomorrow, but it's very close. And I don't know. Like, I kind of want to think about this. Please continue, continue to give me your opinions over the stream. I'm not sold on doing it tomorrow because that means less Tekken. Like, I want to play Tekken and learn new characters and stuff, and I'm not going to do that if I play the game twice a week. I'm not. Look how much I had to play Street Fighter Six in order to get good at it. Now you're telling me because just flash in the pan fucking Silent Hill thing release, just drop a whole Tekken stream and don't get good at the game to play this thing. I, you know, that's why I, I hate this shit. So, I don't know. Let's keep talking about it and try to figure it out. If I don't play it tomorrow, we'll do it during the Super Bowl event. All right? So I will play it one or the other. Okay? All right. I wanted to end this podcast. But money keeps coming in, dude. Ago. But as much as I wanted to, to get out, you kept pulling me back in. Right? 672 just did a super chat. He says, Slayer has called. He says, cancel his private react. His private reacts don't affect anything. I'm going to be doing them off. Like, I'm not I'm not canceling a stream because of it this month. I'm still doing my stream Sunday night. So it doesn't affect anything. I'm going to actually do his private react. I'm going to try to squeeze it in after a late night stream this week. So you can relax there. Okay? Just relax. <laughs> I mean, it's literally going to take All you right. um, at so most you, an hour. All right, can we end the show now? Because I'd like to pee and then start with Baldur's Gate. I'd actually like to play Baldur's Gate today. Wow, he begged his ass off or, for or a month. going for the next four hours. And now right. we're just being butthurt because people keep sending him money. Maybe you shouldn't have spent ten minutes shitting on somebody that got banned like ten times in your chat. Can we end the... Is it good now? Is it safe to end the show? All right. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I don't, I, didn't, welcome. I don't even know what to say we're going to be doing on tomorrow's show. Yeah, I don't even know. That's why we did uh, scheduling segments for 20 minutes straight, because we don't even know what we're doing. Start, but then we'll jump right in. I think the, I thought the, the point of doing schedule segments is to figure out what we're going to do. Okay. And not just to not know what we're going to do still. Oh, <laughs> and by the way... <laughs> By the way, he didn't talk about a state of play, the the Sony event. That was supposed to be a part of DSP News. Did we even do DSP News? I don't think we did. Because he was too busy counting money and shitting on the racist dude. But it's because it's in the title. I just look at the title because I'm like, what the fuck is he going to play today? And here it says Sony Talk. And he just talked about the Silent Hill game and for like 20 minutes. Oh, man. You guys stop saying things. Now, like, did you hear about Brock Lesnar? Did you hear about this? Did you hear about Last of Us 3? No, stop. Why? Stop it. The podcast is over. We oh. have to start with Baldur's Gate now. Stop bombarding me with topics. Stop. You're harassing me with all these topics. Stop this right now. We have to save other things to talk about for the rest of the week. If we talk about all of them today, we'll have nothing to talk about. <laughs> oh, and the fakest laugh of all time. This is on the Mount Rushmore of fake laughs. Stop it. Look at this topic. shit. Stop this right now. God damn. We have to save other things to talk about for the rest of the week. If we talk about all of them today, we'll have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Stop it. Topic harassment. I'm filing an official complaint. Topic harassment. Uh-huh. Sure thing, Phil. <laughs> okay. Hee hee hee. Ack, ack, ack. Are we going to get to play the game? No, he's going to go, uh, go take a wee-wee. And we're going to be gone for a while. Oh, now he's back. Look at this. Wow, he was so fast. It's almost like he didn't do anything else. <laughs> like he usually does. And it takes him like 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> what are we laughing at now? What is so funny? The spoon is the new meme now. I guess I guess I created that one. Oh, I the spoon is the new meme, yes. That meme. That's one I single-handedly created myself. And I won't complain about the spoon. Yeah, can, can you explain what the spoon is about? What do we get to eat? Is this the new arc for 2024? 
Dents biting back? Uh, no, I wouldn't count on it. Since the guy sent him like $50 worth of tips. So, yeah, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Everyone, spoon's out. Spoon's out. Dinner's up. Yeah, what are we going to do with the I spoon? Nice deep scoop. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> you know what this makes me think of is, is that guy on, on Instagram. It's called the Poop Deli. Poop Deli. Uh, it's, uh, it's, which one? Yeah, it's this guy. Is the guy who normally orders at the poop deli goes to a normal deli. How you doing, boss man? Let me get an everything bagel. Uh, do a half pound of poop. <laughs> hey, uh, the usual for me. Quarter, quarter scoop poop on the poop, poop bagel. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bagel everything scoop it out. <laughs> do a little lots and, you know, throw a little poop on there. <laughs> do salt, pepper, ketchup, poop, toast it. <laughs> On an over easy hash brown. Uh, let me do a half a pound of bacon, egg, and cheese with a little bit of mayonnaise on the side. And then, I don't know, put a little poop on the top. And the thing is that this guy, this was such a successful thing on, uh, on Instagram that this guy pigeonholed himself into being the poop deli guy. So he made like a, a thousand, a thousand ones of those. Just, just, just the poop humor. Just that. All right. Very good. Very good. And I guess that's it. I mean, I, I don't see any reason I should uh, stick around for this game I care not a little bit about. So I guess that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching The Swaycast, episode 10. And I'll be with you next time I decide to stream. I don't know when that's going to be, so no promises. Uh, I'm going to play the the new song now. Hold on. This is it. The, the Tropical Style Dance Remix. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am, I can't eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Farms. I want to mail you a spoon on a daily fucking basis. Those are racist, those are sexist, those this, those that. I am who I am. I am fucking based. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it. Fucking eat it.